Hi. Hi. Thanks. <laughs> Hi. 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 Only one person shouted, the rest of you tried. It's okay. It's fine. It's not, it's not a Sunday afternoon. It's not a, how many of you are working today? Anyone working? <laughs> no one of you, none of you, right? So I'll say hi again. Throw your energy back at me, okay? Let's do it again. Hi. Hi. See, you had this in you. You're just like, no, not now, we'll do it later. <laughs> cool. How are you guys doing? Uh, welcome to today afternoon's Poetry Open Mic. My name is Harsh. I'll be your host for today afternoon. It's going to be really, really fun. You guys look blank, but it's going to be fun. Trust me. You guys look like uh, you're doubting this whole day. But I'm going to go around the room, ask you how you're feeling. Tell me how you're feeling without telling me why you're feeling that. Okay? How are you feeling right now? That's I've great. I've been uh, part of this several times, so I'm just looking forward to it and I'm feeling. Okay, excited. Just the emotion. Just good. Good? Fine. Fine is not an emotion, ma'am. <laughs> but good, okay. Good. Yeah, I'm just very excited. I'm looking forward to my friend performing. That's crazy. Nervous. Nervous? Scared. Scared? I'm feeling good. All the people who aren't performing now. <laughs> See the pattern. They'll say I'm feeling great. People performing are like, I'm nervous, I'm in shackles, I'm distressed. Happy. Happy? Chaotic. Chaotic. Excited. Excited? Excited. Excited? Nervous plus excited. Ah, nervous plus excited. And nervous for him. Oh. <laughs> That's a good friend, okay. Excited. Excited. You're not performing, no? No. That's right. He's <laughs> so excited. Excited. Ex are you performing? No. Both of you are not performing. You just come to watch. Exactly. He said, let's go. Oh. Sorry, dude. <laughs> the way you said he dragged you. I hope you have a good time. I really, really hope uh, it's going to be a fun night. Um, yes, <laughs> afternoon. <sighs> I work on major on weekend, so you know, like I'm working right now also. So I might mess up words. Just assume I said the right thing. Okay. Cool. So basic rules, um, everyone gets four minutes, okay, four minutes of time. So we have an event after this at some point. So we just want to make sure everyone gets enough time and we don't have to rush the whole event. So everyone gets four minutes, there's a timer right behind, okay. Uh, so you can keep track of your time and if you feel like you're going to lose track of time, we're going to throw a, a light behind. So you can see it uh, right now at 3.30, you'll get that light, that means you have 30 more seconds. You can do four pieces, 16 pieces, as long as you do it in four minutes. Please respect the time. It'll just be fun. Second, it's a Sunday. We got up from wherever you were, got ready, had the intent to come. He was dragged, but all of you made it. All of you made it here, okay? So have fun. If you're performing or listening, have fun. You're here to support your friends. Also support other people. I mean, you're here, right? Two hours, might as well. Uh, third, if there is any kind of trigger warning that you'd like to give before your piece, please give it, okay? Again, it's a Sunday. Let's not ruin someone's holiday, okay? You can step out for four minutes if you feel uncomfortable listening to someone give you a trigger warning and come back after four minutes. It's all chill. Um, fourth, uh, we are live streaming this whole event. Okay? Uh, so we have a YouTube channel called Habitat Studios and we live stream all the poetry open mics. Uh, it goes live and it happens on Monday and Sunday. And honest, I'll, I'll start by doing this. The only way to get a slot is to say yes on the post that is about the event, okay? Like today's post was there a few days back. You say yes on that, and then our team will go through it, and they will send you a confirmation message, and then you can come, because it does get difficult. And I'm sure a lot of you, all of you, have been trying for months, and we're really sorry. We're trying to accommodate everyone, but this is the only process right now we have. Um, so live stream, uh, the link you can get from YouTube once the event is over, and then put it on your social media. Please credit the team. Uh, we all are working today. Please. Um, photos you will get uh, in your inbox uh, on Instagram in three to four days, five days, six. You'll get it. We're going to click everyone's photo, okay? It does get, sometimes it gets crazy. And yeah, so you will get your photos. Don't worry. I got a call once at 6.30 in the morning <laughs> from an unknown number. Oh and I'm a freelancer. So I had hope. So I'm like, maybe there's work. But I was like, con call at 6.30. But I'm like, <laughs> Let's do it, okay? So I picked up and before saying anything, this guy was like, hey, where are my poetry open my pictures? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know who you are, dude. Why are you calling me at 6.30 in the morning? 
Um, okay, cool. So that's the thing. Uh, apart from that, uh, when I'm hosting, I like doing stories. I like talking to people, I like understanding what's in the room, where you're from, all of that. I have two options, okay? One is the whole story that I will do throughout the whole open mic. And another is just discussion. You guys decide what you want to do today, okay? One is a story about how my father encouraged me or convinced me or pushed me to bunk college. One is that story, one of the theater stories. Another is just conversation about school. You know, different things about school. It's crush, exams, where you come from, what is school like for you, stuff like that. The second one needs more interaction from you guys. The first one just needs you to listen. So, okay, I will say, if you want to hear the dad convincing me to bunk story, cheer, okay, I'll tell you when. Give me a cheer now. Great, three people. If you want to talk about your school, my school, just school, give me a cheer. Okay, cool. So we'll decide. We'll talk about school, cool, cool. That is very clear. Cool, cool, cool. We'll talk, we'll talk about school, okay? For now, I'll call the first performer. Before that, I want you to see, because you guys took three times to say hi, okay? So like, we'll practice cheering for someone who comes on stage, okay? I'm going to call a fictional person, and you have to pretend like they're your best friend, okay? Got it? Got it? Okay. okay. Na 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 na! <laughs> okay. So keep this going. Two hours. A uh, bunch of people. Uh, some people are doing it for the first time. Some people are not. If you're nervous and you're not doing it for the first time, just say you're doing it for the first time. <laughs> people find this great empathy towards people who are doing it for the first time. So everything is m like maaf kar diya jayega. So you just say it, okay? Are you guys ready? Are you guys yes. ready? Yeah? Okay, unison. Are you guys ready? Yes! Can we begin today? Okay, great, great, great. Okay, I'll call the first person. You know what to do. Call the first person. You know, start clapping, start clapping. Start. First person, guys. Go mad, go mad. First person. Can we please have prop now? Keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. Amazing audience. Yeah. The piece is called Water. <coughs> I'm sitting at the edge of your bed. You're sitting with disappointment in your eyes. You look at me with those eyes, those eyes that tell me that I'm a failure, like nothing I've ever done in my life till date has ever been right. Wait, 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 I'm, I'm having a deja vu. This conversation, we've had this conversation before. Oh yes, we go through this only every other month. You look at me with those eyes that tell me that I'm a failure. I'm a bad daughter and you, the celebrated son. You're no longer looking me in the eye. Now that you tell me that you think I'm wasting my life. I sit up straight and say nothing. I just let out a sigh. So you persist and insist and then ask. Why is getting your life together for you such a big task? 1,200 thoughts rush into my mind. It's always like this all the time. A million things call out to me. Is this how it's always going to be? So many paths I could take, things I could do. I get so overwhelmed, I, I end up doing nothing. So I sit straight again and I tell you the truth. I don't know. I have no clue. I answered like I always do. Now I can see why you must think I'm a failure. Truth be told, I don't know if it's a lie or an excuse that I use when I say that I, I don't mean to romanticize. But I am an artist. We're supposed to be a little fucked in the head. If a man does not keep pace with his companions, perhaps it is because he hears a different drummer, says Henry David Thoreau. What if I hear a different drummer? Or what if it's a different song? Maybe I'm not even listening to the music. I don't know, I have no clue, but I know that I'll figure it out. Maybe you could try to slow down too. Perhaps. Perhaps you could open up your mind and see that maybe there's a route that defies conventionality. Is there really a right or a wrong way when it comes to life? Don't you just have to be? Perhaps I sound like an absolute fool, but my way of life doesn't come with a bunch of rules. So I don't know. I really have no clue. But I know that I'll figure it out soon. 
you're rigid like a rock but like water i flow i go where life takes me i have no plans my roads they come with no maps i'm in no hurry to reach a final destiny i'm okay with a life like that but i'm not sure if you are when you live in the same room but you come from different worlds it becomes so difficult to make even the simple things work i can only hope that you don't think i'm less of a person now that you know i'm fueled by love and adventure and not as much by ambition i'm still at the edge of your bed the walls of the room and your words still blue i don't know how to be myself without thinking that i i failed you i don't want to fail you trust me i never wanted to fail you thank you so much um i'm sorry but was your paper a prop <laughs> that you were not re- it's it's really cool dude like I, i for the longest time i kept carrying carrying like paper or phone and i can't i so yeah with stories i still can rely on myself with poems i, I really can't do it it's so so hard to like be able to remember so uh, it's really cool it was like to whoever can remember it's really, really great job one more time Okay, uh, I'm really sorry. I'm going to tell you this now. You're going to be hooting and clapping a little too much today. Okay, now you said school. You have to also interact. Okay, give me a cheer for the boys. This is if you went to an all boys school. Wow. Okay, there was excitement. <laughs> I don't know. I also went to an all boys school in the beginning. Hi, hi guys. You want to come here? You don't have to, but you can. Can you please have a round of applause for them? Let me want to I I can see it's not that hard Thank you thank you so much Is any of you performing I'm performing Okay uh before we started I, I want to do this uh, Nalini is even all of you new Just tell me how you're feeling without telling me why Just the emotion how are you feeling right now Good Good Excited Excited Great great is not an emotion <laughs> nervous you are the performer yes <laughs> Nalini how are you feeling without telling why Okay. Okay. We are friends. We are friends. Now I feel like I need to talk to her. <laughs> like, but okay, we'll 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 get to it. Okay. So um, before you guys came, we did a poll. Okay. Everyone decided we talk about school. So we just talk about school. That's it. I'm just catching up. Okay. So boys, we did that. Now from girls, how many of you went to all girls school? Give me a cheer. Woo! Cheer, cheer, cheer. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyone? How was the experience? How was the experience for you? Okay. The I mean it is what it is like it's her opinion it is what it she feels like yeah right. Now any of the guys uh, I think sir you said how did you feel how was your experience you know all boys school? Good. Good. <laughs> how many years did you study there? 4 years. That's why 4 <laughs> years is what did you do primary school? Yeah. Oh that's <laughs> that's why that's why I have such great memories. I was in a boys school till 5th grade from LKG to 5th grade and then my I have a younger brother and my parents were like life is not challenging enough <laughs> so to make it challenging we'll move them to a co-ed school okay how many of you had that transition give me a cheer you had an how was the experience for you it was very lonely at first because it was a girls school yeah and then I went to co-ed co-ed okay what grade was it Okay, same. Sixth year, I went in sixth. I switched from tenth to eleventh. Okay, tenth, tenth. Okay, tenth is still a transition, but did it feel very new? Because you're a little more older, right? You have yeah. a sense of the but world. It was still like coming to a real world. Right? Real world, yeah. <laughs> I feel you. It's the same thing, yeah. For the first time, when I went sixth, when I came to Kuwait for the first time, it it felt like there was another species that existed <laughs> that I never knew about because like we barely had any you know interaction like that. um for me boys school was not i mean it was good not the best i feel like you need balance um i yeah i can't speak for women women but i feel like in this room if there are only men 
that can still change the energy of the room compared to right now, right? Do you guys agree? So, and we have seen a lot of open mics, right? it's just men, and you can see the difference in the room. So I'm saying that does make a big difference, dude, in school. It was a little crazy. Now, how many of you did not like school or any part of school? Give me a chip. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> I thought like, I, I thought someone will accompany. <laughs> okay, fine. I think school was good, but it was okay. <laughs> I wish I could skip it completely. But, okay, I don't know. So all of you like school? Yes. Okay, cool. Fine. Did you all like your assembly? Did, you, did anyone have a different assembly according to you? Because we all know what the standard assembly is like, right? Did anyone have anything different in that assembly? No? I think my school had this thing that we had houses performing and each person in the house had to recite one line from the moral, uh, the entire story. So if, like, I was very conscious, so if I am not confident enough, so I'm speaking like this in the mind. Oh, and the entire school is hearing. <laughs> so oh, in their, in their classrooms? Yeah, in not, their classrooms, not oh, in front. But did you have assembly together or was it yeah, always in the classroom? Obviously, classroom and the, oh. the rest was not oh <laughs> the rest of you had every day outside yes. Yes. so how many of you regularly saw kids falling down <laughs> in the assembly yeah okay that's normal right that's okay that's cool that's a normal thing it was it was amazing dude like I never uh, I never did how many of you fell from here how many of you have ever fell you have pretend, pretend? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, pretending came later because our, like, uh, like for me, in, when I went to school, um, t like our PT teachers were not very, very, very ruthless. They would not believe you. You had to really have a reason. You had to look like your, uh, it's a very scary thought, okay? You had to look like your eyeballs were not where they are for them to be like, okay, we care about you. We start being like, sir, it's paining, they're like, shut up and go stand. That's, that's all their empathy was. So you pretended you got away. Yeah, yeah, this always happened. College so, thing was yeah, yeah, and it used to be at like School, 10, yeah. 10 to 12, and it used to be on the field. So it used to oh, be hot man. and hell. So it wasn't just, it was a lot of us that would, so we, we would take turns. Okay, last year you drive, this year I drive. <laughs> so we would do all of that. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. I couldn't. I mean, I didn't fall also, but I couldn't. But the more scary part was when you were standing behind the person who's falling. Yeah. <laughs> That's the more scariest. Because you're praying, and sometimes you open eyes a little bit, and you're like, <laughs> okay, I saw one's fallen down. But it's also advantageous. Mean thing, it's advantageous. Because you can help and be like, sir, I'll take this person to class, I'll do this, I'll do that. And great, this one, dude. But uh, I couldn't, I couldn't do that also. Because I grew a little more taller, so they would put me the last. And somehow all the tall kids, none of us would fail. Because if, if they did, we'll need four other people to like come help them, you know, because of what it is. So yeah, assembly was really, really bad. My first, so the first school I was in was a convent school. Uh, and I'm from Bangalore. Uh, I've come to Bombay like seven, eight years back. So convent school, very fancy, okay? It has five grounds. Uh, it's really, really cool. And uh, you know, like it, it was a fun school. Honestly, it was a fun school to go to. The boys part wasn't that much fun, but you know, you win, lose. You win some, you lose some. So uh, the first school was fine. Second school was crazy because we barely had a ground, okay? <laughs> The ground had buses parked. So the day buses, you know, the drivers were not in the mood, they were like, Take a khelo tum pe. the day they were in the mood, they're like, no, you can't play, our buses will be parked there. So we had to play in the basement, play wherever. Okay? And our school was next to this, uh, <laughs> next to this nala. And we got a football recently. So our sir was like, dust bought the basement, mein bahar khelo. So we reached outside and we kept playing. In the second kick, the ball went to nala, game over. We never had a football after that, okay? The worst part was, not all of this. That ground was supposed to be made into a swimming pool. They took money from me for that. They took money from my younger brother for that. They took money from my first cousin for that. Three generations have graduated. There is still no pool in the school. <laughs> it's that bad, okay? And maybe, 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 okay, if our friendship is established, I will tell you the name of my second school, which I will never, I've decided I'm not gonna tell it only, but if you have a good, maybe I'll, I'll just do it. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll call the next person. Come back. Yeah? 
You know what to do. Can we please have Ankita? What is this? Yeah, exactly. share the feelings of another. I'm sorry I wasn't taught this word at school. We thought we'd use a similar sounding, similar meaning word and that would be cool. So each time someone told me that they're in pain, I'm sorry I'd say and walk away again. But when it came to you, you, you are a kaleidoscope. You change colors and patterns with every move. So when you tell me that you wake up with the sun, the color of your sky is tangerine, the color of warmth and everything serene, color of self-love in quarantine. As the sun goes ahead, the color changes to mild blue. You're now a home to millions of free birds and fluffy white clouds too. Your eyes radiate peace and your smile is full of bliss. But sooner in no time, dense gray clouds fill your sky. Smile leaves your face as I watch your peace die. It pours heavier than usual, floods the entire city quite the unusual. My brain twitches as I confuse sympathy with empathy as I console. Grey is not a bad colour at all. Look, grey clouds bring us rain which paints the entire earth green. Can't you smell the petrichor as the most beautiful thing? But you tell me that you hate the colour grey. After all, it took your sun away. The sky clears up as I put you down to sleep. The water seeps down the earth deep. The sun is back in the sky with its vulnerable charm. As it calms itself down, 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 it kisses the horizon and the sky turns pink. Pink, 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 pink is the color of your cheeks. Pink is the color of your lover's lips. Pink is the cover of your favorite book. Pink is the breaths you took. Pink is life. Life is pink. But then you tell me that your sky isn't pink anymore. The day has ended and the night is blue, 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 a deeper, darker blue, a more melancholic blue. A night that casts a blue shadow over your smile, your tears, your life. My brain twitches as it confuses sympathy with empathy again. I tell you, what if the night is blue? Look, even the crescent smiles at you, even the stars twinkle with joy. But then you tell me, that whenever you look at the crescent, it always appears to you upside down. You tell me that what if the stars aren't smiling when they smiling with joy, but are instead are shuddering while they cry. My heart twitches this time. Sympathy, empathy, I don't want to play this game, game anymore. I want to be there for you and see you smile a little more. Amidst all the chaos, you hold my hand, sit me down and say, <clears throat> Empathy, like love, is a complex emotion too. To empathize is to realize, to understand the colors of their skies, to try and step into their shoe, look, I know what you're going through. The colors of my sky change every moment and there's nothing I can do. But with your empathy, therapy, and a little time constraint, my sky will be pink again. And then we'll sing. Give your heart and soul to me, and life will always be. You know, I'll have to ask you to do it again. Mad. Thank you. How long have you been writing or, or performing actually? How long have you been performing? It's my third time performing. Third time? Yeah, I have to do a first time. Oh, first time? That's really cool, yeah. 
first time in Bombay. Where, where are you from? I'm from Ahmedabad. Okay, and you just come to Bombay for Three some work? Ago, uh, for, for like pursuing the business. Okay, okay, okay. That's great, dude. Congratulations. Thank you so much for coming and delighting us with your. Yeah. That's really cool, dude. It's really cool. I'm telling you, my first time I had a paper and I just like. <laughs> And the worst part is in center, right? I have to see, so I can't even like move my hands. It's so difficult, but that's great. I really, really appreciate this. Um, we have a few performers. Okay. Let's talk about canteens. Do you have? Do you guys have a canteen in your school? Yes. Wow. So sad. I never had a canteen in my second school. My first school had junior canteen, senior canteen. My second school had no canteen <laughs> for both junior and senior. Um, canteen. What is canteen like? What is canteen like? Anyone? Yeah. Uh, we had we had one canteen divided into three sections. It was pretty cool. So the middle section was like just pizza, samosas, vada pav, and everything. Yeah. Okay. On the right section was it was the candy store. So it was like vada pav and all your normal candies. And the first section was your cold drinks and your chips. It was properly divided into like three cold sections. drinks. Yeah. Cold drinks, chips, pizza. What? Is this a mall? Like what? <laughs> So if anyone was in Bombay, anyone... Nani, I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. I see, I see. That's... It was crazy back then. I mean, talk about 2000... Until 2008. I went. 2009, I went. Yeah. And then I switched. Yeah, my first school, the junior canteen, we used to get cup noodles and donut. Okay. Very cheap, very fun. Senior canteen, we got idli dosa, because Bangalore. And we got like biryani, and we got maybe like some snacks. Now this is extreme, dude. Is like, who else has got a fancy canteen, dude? Like that? It's in Bombay only. Like my can my canteen had everything. Everything. If you want pizzas, if you want dosas, if you want pav bhaji. Mali, you should come to school in Bombay. But yeah, like. I'm sorry, but it's giving me beach vibes also. <laughs> pav bhaji, pizza, like. Juice, Faluda, like what does he want? Everything. Okay, sorry. I just want to make this, okay? How many of you are not from Bombay? Give me a cheer. Okay, guys, you've come to Bombay, right? You understand. You've eaten the food, right? Right, okay. Don't you think. Put cheese on to everything. Everything, dude. Cheese on. Oh my god. I saw like cheese one, pav bhaji dosa. Which is, which is, which is really offensive at every level, okay? Just let's not get into it. But Shezwan is in everything in Bombay, dude. I can't. I've gone to few cities in India, but I know Shezwan is not their thing. It's only a Bombay thing. Anywhere you go, you get like, it, it's crazy. But yeah, she, yeah, okay. I can't make, I can't make this it. It's too much, dude. It, I, it's ruined me, but you know, like I've eaten so much Chinese food in Bombay. That I'm sick. I'm tired. I have taken. Uh, I can't even explain. It's such a. Probably she'll get it. She's, you're a Jain, right? Yeah. I was going to say. It's a Jain thing, but okay. I was going to say take badha, which means like take. Um, not do it. Basically, not pursue it. So I think I'm done with Chinese food, guys. Especially fucking Shay's one. Can't do it. <laughs> Cannot do it. It's too much. Okay, so you get that. Anyone else? Anyone else? It's, this is the time, guys. Nothing. No one else had canteens. Um, I was preparing for my NEET examinations and I was at Sanjay Ghudawat Institute for like three months. Okay. And then there we had a proper cafeteria where we got pani puri, like everything. Chinese, pav bhaji, wow. dosa. Vada pav had a different section only. Section? Yeah, it was the best one. <laughs> Chai ka different section again, coffee area, like everything we had there. Or mess bhi alab tha. <laughs> I have more empathy for my <laughs> child self now. I just, I just, I really wish when I had all this. It'll be really cool though. But like, how are your breaks then? How how are you given the time to go like in school? How like you had two breaks, yeah. short break, long break. You had one break. How long was school then? Okay, one second, one second. How many of you had? Wait, short break is counted as break, but how? Okay, okay. How many of you had two breaks? Give me a cheer. <laughs> How many of you had one break in your chair? <laughs> one break? Why you not at show? Do you guys have school for four or five hours? No. <laughs> How do you have one break? That's inhuman, dude. Like, why would you make someone? You didn't have short break. No, not even a short break. In primary, school, we had two breaks, but then in primary school, we had an afternoon. Throughout the 
Friday. But that's four hours of school, right? Four or five hours. No, no, no seven hours. Afternoon from one to. Okay, but 12 to 5 30 is okay. Yeah, like it's okay. It's still like half for this one. For for like how? But to, like afternoon school, morning school, right? No, You're saying Bombay. It's morning, morning. Oh. Morning it's so morning. weird, dude. I can't make peace. I thought every school's worked on the same, but I still don't understand. How how do you just have one break if you had like eight, that? 8 to 12.30. Yeah, same. Oh, 8 to 12.30, you only need one break. 7 o'clock to 2 o'clock. I think, so there's a confusion. Uh, in Bombay, I've realized people do morning school and afternoon school. Yeah. Right? That is okay. You need one break for that. I'm saying Bangalore and every other part of the country does... 9 to 4 or like 8 yeah. to 3. 8 to 2 30. 8, 8 to 2 30? Yeah. 8 to 2 30. And we are only one. Which place is this? Amanda. Oh, okay. Okay. Still, okay. I don't know. This is very confusing. Okay. I in whatever school I went, including college, I always had two breaks. A short break and a long break. And that's it. Long break, so you guys were allowed to go in short break or long break to uh, canteen. Anytime. No, no, no. Samja, obviously, you can't like bunk and go. Even in your school, you could go anytime, like short break, long break, go anytime, do whatever. Okay. Have you also had hawkers outside the school or you could go? My second school, I didn't even have that, dude. Like, at least first school used to get bail or something, something like that you'll get. For second school, nothing. They didn't, even the hawkers were like this bullshit, bro. I don't want to, nothing is going to come out of this place. So, okay, guys, cool. I'll go back and live in my bubble. Let's call the next person, okay? Can you please have Arsh? Keep clapping, keep clapping till you come to the stage. <laughs> Guys, before I begin, can we have a huge round of applause for Harsh? Ruby and Aditi, all the Habitat team. They're doing a fantastic job to have this every Sunday and Monday, even though they have other shows. Hey, how are we doing? Depending on your energy, I'll perform, guys. So I'll need to know if you guys are happy. I'll give you guys happy poems. If you guys are sad, we'll break everyone's hearts. <laughs> Sachi, so what are you guys feeling? Happy, sad? Happy. Happy? happy. happy? Okay, cool. I'm going to fuck you all up now. <laughs> <laughs> the first poem that I have for you guys, um, it's a poem that I've written during a breakup, of course. Because why else would I be here otherwise? Um, but the breakup was funny. Um, it was a mutual breakup. Uh, we mutually decided to give my chutia, so she... Like, just let me go. And uh, this poem is basically called Introspecting Within. After a breakup, I realized that a lot of exes, be it girl or guy, start blaming or start reflecting on the other partner's mistakes. After a like, initial stage, everyone's angry. You know, you've broken up. Everyone's angry. We're not sati savitri. We haven't done anything. But when you realize, you're like, I was also crazy. I fucked up. So I wrote a poem on that and I introspected within basically as to where I could have, you know, changed myself and done better. Because at the end of the day, nobody's perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. So, right? Right? Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. So, the first poem is called Introspecting Within and I hope you guys enjoy my misery. <laughs> I saw her waiting for me in the storm in the rain. But all I ever did was I caused her grief and I caused her pain. She was the one who never left my side when I was down, the only one who could actually pick me up from the ground. How was I so blind to see that she was just trying her best to be there for me? Did I ever stop and think twice or was I caught up in my own mind and now I'm paying the price? I regret not telling, I regret not telling her that she deserved the world, but I couldn't bring ours together. I was numb, I was down and I was broke, no matter how much she tried to pick me up and make me feel better. She went through it all just hoping that one day I'd understand how much she loved me. How much she loved me and just wanted me to be her man. But I became selfish. I became selfish in trying to make my life and world work out. Not being able to understand how her love was actually all that I needed to get through this drought. The one person who could hear me has now been blocked away and stored in memory. And now there's no one to talk to. Just me alone, drowning in my own misery. Thank you. How many people have been asked this question at any time in their life? What are your plans for the future? <laughs> See? And this question has been asked to everyone, to everyone, right? What are your plans for the future? It's a question that everyone's been asked. Some know exactly what they want to do and some don't. And it's okay to not know. It's okay to just take it a day at a time. 
Because we get so caught up by trying to impress the people that live around us, we forget to impress the person who's living within. Each day, we should try and impress the person we were yesterday. As long as you keep going each day, be proud of yourself. Be proud of growing from who you were yesterday. Be excited about who you will be tomorrow. But most importantly, just be happy about who you are today. Now, before I go, um, I've got about 30 seconds or so, so I'm gonna just uh, end with some shairies. I don't write in Hindi, but Mahal is a yaar, kya kare? Bolna padta hai. To aapke ijazat se, shuru? Are wow, y'all know. Okay. Pata hai ki tere dil mein hogi mere liye to jaga kahi. Thank you. Tu bula ke to dekh mujhe. Pohunt jaunga mein abhi hoi. Hey आए तो थे, आए तो थे दिलवाले बनके तुझे अपनी दुल्हनिया बनाने के लिए। आए तो थे दिलवाले बनके तुझे अपनी दुल्हनिया बनाने के लिए। तेरी शादी होते देख हम तो शायर बन गए अपनी दुख भरी कहानी सुनाने के लिए। Anyways guys that's been my time. My name is Ashwatra. Please welcome back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are too nice, dude. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly. Someone tells you you're not nice, just be like, no, I am. That's it. There's nothing else. Okay. Um, how many of you... Um, I'll have to make you clap again. Sorry. How many of you are just audience members? Just come here to listen. Maybe if you have a friend or alone. <laughs> Wait, one second. They were already here. They were like, just tell us. And we're like... How many of you audience, audience? Audience, audience, audience. Okay, now, now. Can you clap for all of them? Honestly, we can keep doing this. We can have the whole day to ourselves and open mic all day. But if no one is listening, <laughs> then then self doubt will creep in. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, how many of you during school? How many of you went to tuitions? Do you like? Okay, wait. I actually, need to know. How many of you went tuitions at grade two? Give me a cheer. No one. Great. Great. Don't judge, guys. <laughs> How many of you went to tuition in grade three? Give me a cheer. <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay, I also went in third. That's what I'm saying. Don't judge. Okay. How many of you went up after fifth grade? <laughs> okay. The rest of you went after like eight, nine, ten, or like yeah. no one went before that. No. Oh, fine. Be happy to pray. <laughs> uh, so I was a very slow learner. So my mom just put me in tuition, and it was one of those things. Ki, in Bangalore, my neighbor was my Galika friend, but his mom used to teach, like tuitions, just like that. So my mom is like, ja, unke paas. So third grade it began. The amount of tuitions I've gone to, <laughs> the amount of people I've seen, <laughs> the amount of weird shit I've seen people do uh, is insane, dude. I'm telling you, every year I went to a different tuition. From literally from third to tenth, I went to different tuitions. I met different teachers, I met different styles of learning. Luckily, none of my teachers were uh, violent. Because, um, <laughs> no, like, my cousin went to this, okay, I can tell. Her name was Shobha ma'am, okay, Bangalore, Shobha ma'am. She lived near our house. We have a group of five families who we've all grown up together. And most of them have gone to her. And when they talk about her, no, you know how when you talk about, like, school you're talking about, right? We have different memories. Some people are happy, some people are okay, some people are like, what? All of them only had trauma. <laughs> That's all. They're like, oh, you didn't get hit on the knuckles? Oh, I got slapped. And they're okay. They're normal behaving like this, dude. <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, guys, you really need to, like, and every time we meet for, like, family lunch, at some point, Shobham will come. And be like, oh, were you there when Shobham? Oh, no, were you there? And it's just haunting, traumatizing stories. For me, it was not that much. How about you guys? Any, anyone remember anything good or a little crazy about your tuition teacher? No? You ever went it out? No? Fine, all of you had great teachers then. My tuition teacher, yeah, Thank you. my <laughs> mad mom was. Because I sucked at math. <laughs> yeah, it was mad math. She thought it's a generational thing, I like, oh, what is she? <laughs> why is she yelling at? Yeah, seriously, my grandmom came to pick me up after my maths, like, tuitions. And it was a really bad, like, class. I think I'd done homework or something like that. And my grandmom gets in the car and she goes like, 
why don't you want to tell him or anything? And my grandma was like, no clue. And you know how grandparents are with their grandkids. You know, they're all very over protective. I mean, go to your side. Yeah. But, so she went on about how terrible I am at math and this and that. And it was something. Wow, dude. <laughs> so weird. I mean, that's also their way of feeling like if we complain. Maybe the parents or the grandparents will do something. But it's ironical when teacher complains. Because <laughs> they tell you not to. And then they only complain to it. What is this ironical world? We'll come back, we'll talk about parent-teacher meeting. I think that's a fun... Yes. Yes. Wow, memories came back, huh? <laughs> For all the good students, nothing matters. For all the bad ones, all kinds of compliments were put. Okay, uh, I'll call the next person. We'll come back. Can you please have Nalini? Keep clapping, keep clapping. A uh, round of applause for Harsh. Uh, okay, so I don't have much to say, so I'll directly start with my piece. Mitti ka jamkar sakt ho jana, vilakshan nahi hai. विलक्षण है ओस की बूंदों का मिट्टी पर रोज गिरना पर उसे नरम न कर पाना डर जाती हूँ ये सोचकर कि मानवता का अस्तित्व क्या होगा वो कहते हैं कि मनुष्य भी मिट्टी का बना है तो ये जो है ये कविता नहीं है इट्स काइंड ऑफ अ डायरी एंट्री डायरेड लॉन्ग बैक सो इसको सुनेगा बताएगा कैसे पहला और दूसरा साल क्या लाया था याद नहीं पर ये याद है कि तीसरा साल बस लगा ही था और मेरे माँ बाप बदल रहे थे घर छूट रहा था चौथा पांचवा, छठवा साल समायोजन लेकर आया था वो ठीक से याद नहीं पर अक्सर दूर समंदर की तलाश में भागना याद है सातवा साल घुटने पर चीर दे गया था दर्द याद नहीं पर टाँके ना लगवाना याद है आठ से अठारह के बीच जीवन में क्या बीता कुछ याद नहीं पर भरी बरसात में अकेले छाता लेकर बैठना याद है अट्ठारह से पच्चीस के बीच जीवन में क्या बीता क्यों बीता कुछ याद नहीं पर माँ बाप से बात न करना याद है छब्बीसवा साल कैद लेकर आया था कैद याद नहीं पर ये याद है कि आज़ादी बहुत महंगी होती है सत्ताईसवा साल चुप्पी छोड़ गया था बातें याद नहीं पर रात भर दीवार पर चिपकी तितलियों को निहारना याद है अब जो याद नहीं वो याद नहीं आता बस ये याद है कि नवंबर की सर्दी एक बार फिर उमड़ी है कल अट्ठाईसवा साल लगने को है थैंक यू मेरे पास आज ज़्यादा कुछ कहने को नहीं है अदरवाइज मैं आती हूँ तो मैं बहुत बड़बड़ करती हूँ बट आज शायद बहुत ज़्यादा शब्द नहीं है मेरे पास तो मैं कविताओं से ही आपसे बात करूँगी तो एक कविता है उसमें दो शब्द आते हैं विहीन खाली विहीनता खालीपन और विकृत टूटा फूटा पिछली रात सामान्य थी मैं खुद को अव्यवस्था के पंजों से खसीट एक जगह ले आई थी विकृत और विहीन सी जगह जहाँ मेरी ध्वनि विलीन ना होकर मुझे तक वापस लौटा है विहीनता को विहीनता की कितनी आदत होगी कि आने वाली तुच्छ ध्वनि को भी वो वहीं पहुंचा देती है जहां से वो आई थी पिछली रात विहीन थी मैं विहीन हूं विहीन सामान्य है पिछली रात भी सामान्य थी और मेरे पास बहुत कम समय है तो मैं कुछ हापी सा आपको सुना के जाना चाहूँगी आई थिंक मैंने बहुत माहौल को जो गंभीर कर दिया तो एक गीत सुनाती हूँ मैं आपको मतलब गीत कह सकते हैं उसको न मैं बादल को तकती हूँ न चंदा और सूरज को न मैं बादल को तकती हूँ न चंदा और सूरज को फरोजी आसमां सा वो उसे हर बार तकती ढलकती शाम ना देखूँ छलकता जाम ना देखूँ हदो अनजाम ना देखूँ उसे हर बार तकती रिहाई कह कशा से दो रिहाई कह कशा से दो किसी तारे के टुकड़े को जो हो ना हो अहिस्ता हो उसे हर बार तकते लगाएं कौन सी महफिल बताएं वसल का हासिल कोई अफवाह है इस काबिल जिसे हर बार तकते जो देखूं रात तो वो हो 
मिलन की बात तो वो हो जो देखूं रात तो वो हो मिलन की बात तो वो हो कम से कम सात तो वो हो जैसे हर बार तक दे बहुत शुक्रिया If you were good students, be honest, ah, huh? it's okay. No, 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 I'm okay, chair. But all the whole second for what? <laughs> This is really a classroom today, dude. You guys are toppers. You guys are toppers. Uh, you know. Um, but you guys are good students throughout school. Yes. Was there never a dip? No, no. Never. ठीक है. I relate to those guys because uh, <laughs> you know I went to tuitions in third. You know what happened in parent teacher meeting? First I was in boys school, right? So all teachers were like, "We're worried for him. He doesn't talk in class." And I was very scared. I was very scared, shy, uh, extremely paran paranoid. As in, I was I, I I knew humans can harm. So I was scared that any human can come and harm. Okay. So I was like, I just need to be away from humans. So they were like, "We're very scared. He's not talk like he's not talking at all. He doesn't you know interact much in class." And then four years later, in seventh grade, eighth grade, my teacher calling me a silent killer. Because <laughs> they're like, he's not talking much in class. But when he does, he creates chaos. I'm like, dude, you guys decide what feedback you want to give me. Okay? He told me I'm not talking. I started talking. Now you're like you're talking too much. What is this? Uh, how does it work, man? I don't know. So you guys had a great experience with PTA, right? Cool. So I'm not asking you anymore. <laughs> what about you guys? Anyone from the back? How was your experience with PTA? Horrible, right? Wait, uh, one more question. Did uh, whichever parent accompanied you? Did they go to all the teachers? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. Or one teacher? Oh God, dude! My first school, my parents made a habit to go to one teacher. The minute we came to second school, my dad would come very enthusiastically, and then he's like, "Let's go meet all teachers." so that they have 18 more sets of feedback to give which are all contradicting to each other but yeah so so most of our parents went to all is there anyone who consistently just went to one teacher any parent our any parents person didn't came. Never, parents came. Came. Never, came. never came they never came they never came they knew we are my parents <laughs> my parents are dentists and all of the teachers were their patients so <laughs> <laughs> so even if they didn't come i used to just like opd me they won't be coming so <laughs> But it also works for you guys, because yeah. teachers are running out of compliment. Like, what will they say every time? New about your kid that is doing well. <laughs> Even the parents know. So, like, yeah, it makes sense. But it's surprising still that your parents didn't come, because my parents, it was like their field trip. <laughs> you know, when we had field trip in school, we were like, man, we are excited. For them, it was their field trip. कि हम मजा आएगा. We'll go to different rooms, ask different teachers how my son is doing. Be disappointed equally in every teacher. <laughs> And the thing is, the teachers would tell me so much that while going home, my dad would show little empathy and be like, "Chalo, I'm abhi. One hour ke liye kuch nahi bolta. <laughs> let's go home. Let's chill. Let's eat lunch. Then I'll open the report card. Then we'll go one by one. Why? Why? I'm like, dude, I'm just mad. I'm bad. Especially math. I. Yes, I uh, uh, officially. Okay, officially. Absolutely. <laughs> Suck at math. Absolutely, dude. I'm telling you, okay, um, because I've got such bad marks over the years that it's just it's just given me the confidence that I don't know math and I should accept it. There's no way running away from it, okay. In school, there was a exam I got six out of fifty. Oh. <laughs> Your teacher told you. My teacher, and she, she was next to you. Like my teacher, I tell you stories. Okay. नहीं अभी बताए कोई कुछ तो बताए क्या ही? Your teacher is telling you we are not in the, we should not be in the same room. Yeah, we should not be in the same room. And she used to pinch you, like the softest part of your at your arm. She had like इतने बड़े बड़े लोगों से like. 
for a person teaching quantity and quality doesn't understand much of how to measure or what to do. That's crazy. I, see, I want to get into... Yeah, yeah. Running, you're playing basketball, but on math, you're getting zero. Yeah, yeah. In my math, it was like this. She was angry if I was good at something else and not math. She would get really, really mad, dude. The same thing, dude. She would be like, you're good at English. And I'm like, what's there? Like, you're learning English every day for 10 years. It's okay. Um, I don't even want to get into the violent bits of school, okay? That's too traumatic for all of us. <laughs> got hit in school, got bullied. Ah. Oh. Sure, most of us felt like that. Which, but which one of you has not had any kind of violence in school at all? Like no one, the, like the, did you get, when did you graduate? Um, 2016, I completed 10. That's why. Because <laughs> now it's new generation. Teachers are like, we can't hit you. The students are like, you can't hit us. Yeah. <laughs> Back then it was like, you can't tell. <laughs> you can't even open your mouth. If you open your mouth, you get more punishment, dude. That's even more bad. Good for you guys. It's not seen. Our teachers never cared, dude. My school was so strict and they used to suspend for no reason at all. If they hate you, they'll suspend <laughs> you for having lies in your hair. <laughs> for a week. I mean, exams. oh, okay. See, the last part was bad. I was like, all this while is win-win. No, you may not have lies, but you have a week of holiday from But school. you'll be embarrassed in front of the entire school. The entire school in the auditorium, everyone's watching you for having lies in your head. <laughs> so let's say, they don't like me, okay? And I come to school. They don't like me and I come to school and probably there's a little bit of like um, a dirt mark on my shirt. Will they take me to auditorium and call everybody from their class? That happens, that happens in the auditorium. It's like the class teacher who hates the student will go and whisper into the principal's ears that listen this girl is being bitchy she needs to get out this is very like they suspended for uh, like girls were psycho they were driven. psycho <laughs> <laughs> they, they had rounder hota tha na usse apne boyfriend ke initial thighs pe banate the they what this fuck is happening? First of all, I'm not over teachers who hate students that they'll want to embarrass them but they don't have the courage to say things out loud so they'll go whisper in the principal's ear and then they gather the whole school to alter and to be like, chal roast karte ek bachche ka. They aren't within the auditorium and you are not Oh, so there's already something happening in the auditorium. So they're like, let's create a half an hour embarrass. Okay, 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 okay. And who is the, like, who hosts it? <laughs> like, the teacher, <laughs> principal, the your, your, your the class. Uh, the principal is teaching, uh, is talking, and the teachers can come and whisper that these students are being naughty. So, they're not talking. <laughs> so, the teacher gives the tip to uh, principal. Yeah. The principal has the mic. Yeah. The principal tells out loud, saying, roll number. You need to come out. Prinda Trivedi, come out. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Full <laughs> names? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> And then one person shamefully walks. <laughs> and then goes on the stage. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, they can't even come up on stage. Dude, that's. They're embarrassing, they're embarrassing properly, no? Like, what? Wow. So much for being equals. So they'll make them stand down, like here, and just be like, Brinda, you, how dare you bring lice into our school? <laughs> Shameless for doing this. How odd. That, that's too dramatic. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I mean, I thought they're doing so much drama. Being suspended for having lice in your hair, and everyone laughed. Everyone laughed. Okay. Yeah. I thought, like, just hating was, uh, like, traumatic, but this is clearly... <laughs> Imagine like 10 years later, someone says lice and you're like, no, please, don't suspend me today. <laughs> I've done enough to do in my life. This is so much trauma, oh my god. Is this the only extreme? Is there anyone else who <laughs> had we such, such co-curricular activities? Uh, we were in our school, we were compulsory meant to speak in English. Okay, and that is, yeah. yeah. And if anyone else speaks in any other language, the 
the batch holders used to write down their names throughout the week and during an assembly during the assembly the class teachers used to call out their names which were most repeated ones and principal used to give a topic on the spot and we had to speak in english for 5 minutes straight <laughs> Shit. Do you remember what topics they they had? Just common general topic. How like weather, elections. Yeah, about like uh, good Indian citizens. Good Indian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, principles. It depends on how. Mix, mix, mix. But for some kids, it was like common general topics. Like how to cook. Yeah, like how to cook. I mean, this is still better than <laughs> you're suspended for having lice in your hair. That's that's too much. This could have been a private event, you know. The teacher could have whispered in the girls, "You're saying lice." you should go home like why you do all this but this okay this this english thing yeah i've, I've seen it in a lot of places that people don't uh, that is not normal yeah especially convent like what they do yeah. 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 what so i went to an all boys school under the fifth right yeah and if our teacher used to run up run their fingers through the hair through our hair basically and it went above finger yeah. right they used to cut yeah. or put it in the ponytail or something yes. and we would do it Every morning, so we used to enter checking all of that. Go here, you are too long. Go here, you are too long. After morning, try after everything. Okay, now time for today's haircuts. <laughs> Not kidding. Yeah. Today's yeah, haircuts. Yeah, in the middle of the assembly. Yeah, in our school, even you, they used to uh, put uh, boys' hair in ponytails, yeah. yeah. and they would cut it like this in any direction, and it used to look in messy. In our school, they used to make boys wear the ponytails and run around. <laughs> <laughs> I think the teachers were just having fun, bro. They were also like bored, they were chatting. Yeah, but it's extreme, dude. Why can't you just write a remark saying, "Log hair, cut it tomorrow"? Why do you have to do this extra? Who cut the hair? PE teacher. No, bro. They had it in house. <laughs> okay, your school. Okay, your school has everything. I have believed it. Okay, there is nothing in your school that is not there. Next time you tell me there's a roller coaster in my school, I'll believe you. Because there is so much in your school. You had a hairdresser in school. Yeah, but still. <laughs> this is like his freelance dude. Come to school every day, freelance. Subha ke time pe, das baal kaat rahe sahi. He's running around is scary again. Yes, like, he's make a portal run around. Yes, we do it blind with the boys and run around the ground throughout the assembly. <sighs> okay, I think we've covered a lot in this. Anyone else last? Then I call the next person. I feel like we are diving too deep. <laughs> And a trauma. Let's just let's just remove it. It's fine. Let's just remove it. Let's just remove it. It's fine. This, yeah. I didn't expect this to be therapy, but it is. We are for each other. Anyone else? Anyone else? Something crazy? Oh, when I was in junior college, no, no, I was in the same junior college as my cousin, and she had this experience that their batch, uh, they everyone bumped. So there was a mass bump, and they went for a movie. And the principal got to know. <laughs> no. So what she did was she went. <laughs> no, no. She spoke to the manager, and she was standing outside the theater. Oh so shit! She oh, she literally hard. pulled out one one person like who was in the uniform, and really. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But there was one person, right? No. Who must have told her? How does she know which theater? <laughs> what time? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. There, there was, was someone who snitch. Snitch. Someone a snitch yeah. man. Every there's always a snitcher in class. How many of you were leaders, uh, class leader or something? Okay. Were you guys snitchers any chance? Be honest, dude. Be honest. Today we've grown up. It's fine. No? <laughs> you all nice people? Used to? Cooperate. Okay. That's nice. My class, my leaders, my class never did, never did. I was the head girl. Head girl. Oh, that's really. How many of you were head girl, head boy? Okay. Okay. That's cool. I I I wasn't social in school, so I wouldn't be head girl or head boy. How was that for you? Okay. It's just now. Okay. Sorry, I don't know why. There is no year in my thing. Okay. I just thought I'll just check what year we are in. Okay. This year, you mean like right now? Like right now, yeah. I just so cute, dude. College. You just finished school. Yeah. Wow. So much life is there. Ar Arsh, did you say you were a head boy? I was school, yeah, yeah. Okay. How was that? It was fun, bro. Like, maza, yeah. Because these kids and all used to be like, oh, this guy school captain. But the question is, did you fuck around with other people? Okay. 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 Cool. I should not show up to assembly on time though, because I feel like no, I'm on rounds. Cool kids. <laughs> cool kids, bro. Nice, fun. 
uh, we had to attend assembly every day because we had to witness someone falling down. Okay, next person, next person, next person. Can you please have Purva? Sorry. <laughs> keep laughing, keep laughing, she comes in. So hi, I'm Purva and um, I live away from the home. I'm basically living in a hostel right now. And we have got like tons of people who are close to us, but there is this particular person, this particular person you just get too attached to, who are, you know, extreme comfort person. So sometimes when you are too lonely or um, there are lots of people around you who can talk to you, but there is no one around you who you want to talk to. So. Uh, there was this one time I was extremely lonely and I wrote this poem because I had uh, I was at my lowest and it hasn't got a name. I have named it yet. So this is just random poem. I hope you like it. I cried that night. I cried that night. I cried the next. I cried myself to sleep tonight. The bed was cold and there was no one to hug me except my pillows. I kept your photo in front of me. I closed my eyes and so much did I dream. Your hug and your warmth, your scent and the clothes that you bought, your smile and the food that you made, your cloth, your low humming as you danced your way through the home. How silently you gave me company as I was alone. Our early morning walks and those late night talks and the way I smiled and ran to open the door when I knew you were the one on the other side. When I knew I have heard a familiar knock. I yearn for the moments I didn't think were important. I crave for the street, familiar yet distant, through where you taught me how to ride a bike and then you let me go. Alone did I ride. Now, when we are miles and miles apart, I fold myself in your old shirt, searching for some warmth, watching your face as I sleep tonight, telling you silently, I cried tonight. Just like that day, just like the other day. But I'm enduring this just for you and all the strength I'm getting from it's just because of you, Mom. It's just because of you. Can I perform one more? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, this poem goes by the name of It Still Haunts Me. So here it goes. Help me. Help me move on. Help me forget this pain. Because I never experienced the rainbow I wanted. All I got was stormy rain. Whenever I close my eyes, and let my mind at ease. All I get are dreadful flashbacks, and I just want to cease. How many nights have I woke up hearing my own cries? How many tears did I shed? How many wounds still I have to hide? My shouts still echo, my heart still aches, my eyes still hover over each dream that breaks. The nightmare still wakes me up, and I start to shiver. From the past that till haunts me, my future starts to quiver. My heart starts beating whenever I picture the, those sleepless nights, those endless sights of pain and misery, the tears that I immersed whenever the old ones dried, when my head was held in shame and the storms of expectations came, and when I saw them reflected in my eyes, all I could hear was cries, cries of my helpless soul suffering in silence. It was calling out for help, hand above the water, the body already drowned. No one tried to bring it up, and so did it drown. I never want to relive it, those torturous, torturous past. Yet it keeps reoccurring, nightmarish and fast. I flinch and cover and, to, and run to my bedroom corner where I can hide wherever there is only me to confide. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, was this the first time? Yeah. That's Woo! bad. Thank you. Um, this is the first time you're ever performing or over here? Uh, I only performed once before this at okay. Kasuka Mumbai. Uh, this is my first time here. Okay, that's great. This happens a lot, you know. Like people say it's, it's uh, they write, you know, sometimes in the form we write like a asterisk. And then I'm like, it's a first time. They're like, yeah, first time here. I was like, okay, <laughs> I'll just clarify where is the first time where then, which I don't understand count. Okay, I'll call the next person. Before that, I have to do a little promotional things because yeah, okay, cool, you get it. Uh, uh, one, we have open mics on Sundays and Mondays. Uh, it happens on different time that you'll have to check the post on Instagram, if you already follow, which I'm assuming you do. 
You have to comment yes in that post if you want to get a slot, but that doesn't confirm your slot, we'll send you a message. So if you have friends uh, who want to perform, this is the process alone, there's no other way. Second, we've started a new food, uh, like we've changed our whole kitchen in that sense and we started Habitat Canteen. Um, I would recommend you to try out the food. What I would recommend... <clears throat> yeah. Lovely food. Thank you. <laughs> what I would recommend from the menu is everything. It's great. <laughs> I've worked there five years, I've tried everything. Beautiful, guys, beautiful. Um, so that's second. Third, we have started this new concept show called Creative Blog Party. Okay, I don't know how many of you had a glimpse. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so it's basically um, us trying to get different kinds of performers and blend into a show where we can try out uh, stories, we can try out poems. We kind of get a singer-songwriter to come play original music. Uh, that's happening mostly on Wednesdays. Somewhere here and there again, it might be up and down. So if you are interested, uh, do let us know because we have shows coming next month uh, onwards and we have lineup shows, we have solo shows. Uh, they're all for free. They're all on invite basis. So um, we'll figure out a way how to do this because the point right now is we're inviting people from our database, which includes a lot of you, but a lot of you are also new. So maybe after the show, we'll figure out a system to get the invites to you, but that's something that's happening. Uh, so please uh, make sure you come for that if you want to. I'm doing a solo show like my... <laughs> Thank you. So one of the creative blog party, I'm doing my solo 60 minute storytelling show, which is going to happen on October 5th on top. Again, invite. Thank you. For that invite, again, there are two ways. One is in my Instagram. There is in the link in the bio, there is a Linktree account, which leads to another Google form where you can fill if you're interested in attending the shows that I'm a part of. I will send you the re remaining details. You can sign up there if you want to. So that solo show is happening. Apart from that, today evening also there's a show happening in Title Wave, if you're not Title Wave Yeah, There is a show happening there. Uh, if you guys are interested in attending after the show, let me know. It's at 8 o'clock. It's in Title Wave Bandra. Uh, it's also uh, free. So let me know if you want to attend and uh, I'll hook you up with the, with the details. <sighs> okay. You guys looked very serious. Like it was, you know, you're in train and there are too many platforms and they're announcing your train is going to come on this platform and you have no, you're like, wait, 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 stop talking, stop talking, stop talking. What the fuck is it? And they say like, and you're just like, oh, I have a, what gate do I go to? Um, okay, cool. I'll call the next person. We'll keep the afternoon rolling. Keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. Can you please have Alaya. Can she come to the stage? Hi guys, so I usually, I mean I've just started writing in Hindi, this is my second piece and I really hope that you guys like it. Suno to zara, kuch baat karni hai tumse. Suno to zara, thodi shikayat hai tumse. Agar pyaar hi nahi tha, to mohabbat ke ghazal tumne sunaye hi kiyo. Agar haath pakde nahi rak sakte the, to hamari aankhon ke faasle tumne mitaye hi kiyo. Dil ko dil se mila nahi sakte, to hamare jismo ko bhi tum ajnabi hi rehne de the. सुनो तो जरा कुछ बात करनी है तुमसे सुनो तो जरा थोड़ी शिकायत है तुमसे जब खुदा ने तुम्हें मेरे लिए बनाया ही नहीं था तो तुम मेरी इबादत क्यों बने जब हमारी हाथों की लकीरों ने किसी और का नाम बुना था तो तुम मेरे ही दिल की धड़कन क्यों बने शायद साथी का मतलब हमारे लिए एक नहीं था तुम्हारे लिए मैं यार थी और तुम मेरा प्यार और अगर हमारी कहानी में दोस्ती ही लिखी है तो ये दास्तान पूरी होकर भी अधूरी क्यों लग रही है सुनो तो जरा कुछ बात करनी है तुमसे सुनो तो जरा थोड़ी शिकायत है तुमसे हमारा प्यार सही था मगर तुम्हारे प्यार करने का तरीका नहीं शायद इसलिए जब मैं तुम्हारी वजह से रोज रो देती तो मेरे बालों को सहलाने के बजाय मुझे मेरे हाल पर छोड़ देते वहीं के वहीं तुम्हारी आवाज मेरे लिए संगीत और तुम्हारे लफ्स मेरे लिए सुकून थे पर शायद ये प्यार की धुन में सिर्फ मैं मस्त होकर नाच रही थी क्योंकि तुम्हें तो मेरी खामोशी भी शोर लगती थी सुनो तो जरा कुछ बात करनी है तुमसे सुनो तो जरा थोड़ी शिकायत है तुमसे बस थोड़ी सी और हिम्मत अगर हम दिखा देते 
दुनिया से अगर हम एक और बार लड़ लेते तो शायद आज तुम और मैं मैं और तुम किसी और को प्यार के झूठे वादे नहीं दे रहे होते एक दूसरे से बात करने के लिए हमारी रूह तरस नहीं रही होती इतनी दूरी नहीं होती हमारे दिलों के दरमियाँ आज भी तुम बस एक बार कह दो छोड़ दूंगी तुम्हारे लिए सारे रिश्ते नाते यारियाँ क्यों नहीं हो तुम यहाँ मेरे पास तुम्हारी ही बाहों में लेनी है मुझे अपनी हर और आखिरी सांस बस यही उम्मीद में जी रही हूँ कि किस्मत हमें मिला दे एक दिन बस यही उम्मीद में जी रही हूँ कि तारों तक सुनाई दे हमारे मिलन की धड़कन एक दिन कोई कोई डर नहीं है मुझे जब तुम हो मेरे साथ सिवा एक बात के जब हम मिलेंगे ना तब तुम मुझे देख ये ना कहो कि सुनो तो ज़रा कुछ बात करनी है तुमसे सुनो तो ज़रा थोड़ी शिकायत है तुमसे कि सुनो तो ज़रा कुछ बात करनी है तुमसे कि सुनो तो ज़रा थोड़ी शिकायत है तुमसे थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच thank you so much uh, i have a question though you don't you don't have to answer it uh, ha- were you in a relationship where was this based out the uh, this poem of this space piece based out of sort of a lot of like almost okay so it's not just about me it's also about a lot of my friends and things like that so we had these rant sessions so it came out of a, of a, of a rant nice. session so yeah like you have a rant session with friends yeah <laughs> no no that's good i'm just asking like what is the So you guys have a specific time or day like me this is right now is the right time i'm just going to do it like how does it you call each other up just in a moment and then you went okay cool 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 it's a good thing dude it's a good thing you need it yeah 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 we didn't i mean i didn't have it like i feel like when i was in school or whatever we didn't have it that much people used to barely talk to each i mean people used to talk to each other but it is just like names and words nothing interesting cool i call the next person we'll come back i will talk about the biggest scam okay in school crush yeah <laughs> thank you you read me crush yeah 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 biggest scam uh, okay next person <laughs> can we please have abhishek <laughs> keep clapping for the kamal stage फर्स्ट टाइम सबसे पहले मैं मतलब ये चीज़ ये पोइट्री मेरी माँ के लिए सुनाना चाहता हूँ तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल शी लाइक 2017 में वो मुझे छोड़ के चली गई थी उनके कुछ ही दिनों के बाद मैंने ये पोइट्री लिखी थी सो दिस इज गोज लाइक वो यादें आज भी अक्सर तड़पाती हैं घर सुना सुना वीरान खंडर लगता है रातों को तो अब प्यास लगती नहीं मुझको दिन में तो मानो छोटा ग्लास भी मुझको एक समुद्र लगता है या शायद माँ तू वहीं होगी माँ तू वहीं होगी कहीं किचन में बर्क बर्तन खनकाती हुई या शायद श्रृंगार के पास पायल छनकाती हुई मुझे प्यार से तूने आखिरी बार तो बुलाया होगा ना जाते जाते मेरे लिए तूने दुआओं में हाथ उठाया होगा ना मैं सोचता हूँ कि गलती कहाँ रह गई थी माँ आखिरी बार तुझसे मुलाकात के लिए तुझे फरिश्तों ने भी तो बहुत सताया होगा ना तू रोकना चाहती होगी खुद को तेरा छोटा चांद था मैं तो तू रोकना चाहती होगी खुद को तेरा छोटा चांद था मैं तो मुझसे दूर कहीं तुझे फरिश्तों ने भी झूले में बिठाया होगा ना और ये लास्ट लाइन है इसकी कि माँ माँ मेरी सारी ज़िंदगी माँ मेरी सारी ज़िंदगी तुझ पे उधार होगी मेरी सारी जीत आज से बस तेरे नाम की आवाज़ होगी क्या बात छोटा सा है कि मतलब मैं एक लड़की से मिला था तो फिर मुझे मतलब रात को उसने पूछा कि क्या तुमने फील किया था काइंड ऑफ कॉन्वर्जेशन वी हैड इन नाइट सो उस टाइम पे मैंने ये छोटी सी चीज़ लिखी थी विच इज़ लाइक कि तो मैंने बताया था कि मैं क्या फील करता हूँ सो काइंड ऑफ की यादों का सिलसिला अक्सर तेरे दुपट्टे में कहीं अटक जाता है यादों का सिलसिला अक्सर तेरे दुपट्टे में कहीं अटक जाता है तेरे माथे की काली 
छोटी टिकली में ये दिल हर रात कहीं भटक जाता है फिर कुछ टाइम के बाद शेद लाइक उसने मुझसे पूछा कि आखिर तुम करते क्या हो बेसिकली सो आई एम राइट नाउ आई एम इन टू क्रिएटिव डिपार्टमेंट इन डिफरेंट प्रोडक्शन हाउस एंड नॉन दस सो तभी मैंने उसको लिख के बताया था कि बेसिकली मैं क्या करता हूँ सो काइंड ऑफ थिंग इज़ कि फ़कीर की मैं जात लिख दूँ दोस्तों की दिल की बात लिख दूँ फ़कीर की मैं जात लिख दूँ दोस्तों की दिल की बात लिख दूँ मैं तो वो खिलाड़ी हूँ जो हसीनाओं के भी जज्बात लिख दूँ किसी का किसी का कल तो किसी का मैं आज लिख दूं देश की गरीबी पे अगर मुझे कोई लिखने कहे तो पूरी एक रात लिख दूं क्या बात है तू तू कोई कोई चांद है या तू कोई आसमा तू कोई चांद है या तू कोई आसमा तू कहे तो तुझ पे पूरी एक किताब लिख दूं तो एक लास्ट जाते जाते ये है कि छोटी सी एक शायरी है कि यूं किसी का इंतजार नहीं करते बेसिकली इसका टाइटल था कि कोई समझाए उन्हें नींद छीन लेने से खौफ नहीं मरते कोई समझाए उन्हें नींद छीन लेने से खौफ नहीं मरते और परिंदों को कैद कर लेने से उनके उड़ान नहीं मरते क्या बात है? हौसला रखते हैं मोहब्बत वाले लोग हौसला रखते हैं मोहब्बत वाले लोग ऐसे ही तूफानों में उनके नाव नहीं चलते सो दैक्स्ट लाइन इज की जहर दे के पता मौत का पूछा नहीं करते और इश्क में कभी धोखे पास के हाथ नहीं मरते और लम्हे लम्बे हो जाएं तो सांस लेना भूल मत जाना लम्हे लम्बे हो जाएं तो सांस लेना भूल मत जाना और किसी अजनबी का इतने साल इंतजार नहीं करते क्या बात है एक छोटी सी शायरी है विच इज लाइक थोड़ा थोड़ी सी क्रीप शायरी है सो काइंड ऑफ की तेरे लिए इस दिल का सो so, 2000 का छुट्टा मिलना बहुत ही रेयर होता है काइंड ऑफ सो तेरे हज़ार इस तेरे लिए इस दिल को मैंने 2000 का नोट बना लिया तेरे लिए इस दिल को मैंने 2000 का नोट बना लिया जब तू ना मिली तो इसका छुट्टा करा के मैंने सिगरेट में उड़ा दिया थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच यूज बींग वेरी 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 Um I'll call the next person then we'll come back okay till then reminisce about your crush okay <laughs> Can you please have Chelsea Keep clapping keep clapping please come to the Okay hi guys my name is Chelsea and before I give my introduction I want you guys to give a round of applause for everyone who is performing today because it takes a lot of guts to be here and be this vulnerable in front of so many people. So let's appreciate everyone today. All right. Hi guys, my name is Chelsea. I'm a writer. I write in Hindi and English. और मेरा तरीका ये है कि मैं सबके साथ interact करती हूँ. मुझे चाहिए कि मेरी जो audience है, वो मेरे art का हिस्सा बने. सो so, शुरू करूंगी मैं क्वेश्चन के साथ व्हाट इज द सैडेस्ट थिंग दैट यू हैव हर्ड और फेल्ट एनी वन सैड एनी वन एल्स द लॉस ऑफ योर लव्ड वन ओके आई थिंक सॉरी यू डिजर्व बेटर आई थिंक द सैडेस्ट थिंग दैट आई हर्ड इज आई एम नॉट इन लव इमेजिन यूर इन लव एंड One day, this thought triggers your mind that maybe there's someone better than me out there. What if that person doesn't love me anymore? What if I'm never enough? And क्या पता मेरा बुरा दौर होगा और मुझे खुद से प्यार करना नहीं आ रहा होगा? तो क्या तब मुझसे प्यार कर पाओगे? तो मेरी poem का नाम है क्या? क्या तब भी मुझसे प्यार कर पाओगे? क्या तब भी मुझसे प्यार कर पाओगे जब मुझे खुल के हंसना नहीं आएगा क्या तब भी मुझसे प्यार कर पाओगे जब मेरा मन ही दिल को सताएगा क्या तब भी मुझसे प्यार कर पाओगे जब पुरानी बातों से दिल घबराएगा क्या तब भी मुझसे प्यार कर पाओगे जब तुम्हें मुझसा कोई गले लगाएगा क्या तब भी मुझसे प्यार कर पाओगे जब तुम्हें मुझसा कोई मिल जाएगा क्या तब भी मुझसे प्यार कर पाओगे क्या तब भी मुझसे प्यार कर पाओगे 
इसके लिए मेरा सिर्फ एक ही रिस्पॉन्स है लाइक टू दिस पोएम आई थिंक दैट अगर तुम्हें प्यार हो रहा है तो लेट इट हैपन गो विद द फ्लो बिकॉज अगर तुम्हें प्यार है तो तुम बहुत खुश नसीब समझो क्योंकि हर किसी को प्यार नहीं मिलता और अगर तुम्हें मिला है तो तुम्हें उसकी रक्षा करनी भी आनी चाहिए तो इसमें मैंने कुछ लिखा था कि साथ चल लेना अगर मंजिल मिले तो साथ चल लेना अगर मंजिल मिले तो हालात समझ लेना अगर मुश्किल मिले तो इबादत कर लेना अगर साहिल मिले तो इबादत कर लेना अगर साहिल मिले तो और हिफाजत कर लेना अगर तुम्हें मुझसा कोई काबिल मिले तो तो आई डोंट नो अगर इस पोइट्री की डेप्थ समझ में आई हो कि नहीं मेरा मतलब सिर्फ यही है कि करोड़ों लोगों में अगर हमारी मंजिलें मिली है तो हाथ पकड़ के साथ चल लो और अगर हम काफ़ी मिसअंडरस्टैंडिंग्स हो रही है और हमें एक दूसरे से काफ़ी तकलीफ़ें हो रही है तो हालात समझ लेना अगर हम कहीं दरिया किनारे साहिल पे हैं तो इबादत कर लेना हमारी खुश नसीबी के लिए और अगर कभी तुम्हें <laughs> और अगर कभी तुम्हें मुझसा कोई काबिल मिले मेरे जैसा कोई मिले या मुझसे बेहतर कोई मिले तो हमारे प्यार की हिफाजत कर लेना थैंक यू गाइस आई एम रियली ग्रेटफुल टू बी हियर आई आई एम होल्डिंग दिस माइक आफ्टर अ रियली लॉन्ग टाइम सो आई एम ग्रेटफुल फॉर यू गाइस आल्सो थैंक यू फॉर बीइंग सच अ गुड ऑडियंस थैंक यू Thank you. Welcome back. It has been a while. Uh, you can clap if you feel. Thank you. You look sahi ho yaar. Honestly, this is too giving. So crush. I know m- most people. Everyone has had it. Okay. I just want to know people who've not had it. Anyone who's not had a crush in school. Maybe in college would be the first crush, right? Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Apart from this, I'm saying apart from this, like uh, because a lot of people were in a COVID and still didn't have a crush till like college or something. So you never had till college. Till junior college. Okay, okay. Everyone else had had. Okay. I didn't know in school. So for me, it was like when I shifted, I shifted schools right from all boys to COVID, and in sixth standard, I I I just looked at this person and it was like. It was all. It seemed like a movie song, and that's where I feel bad that we think Bollywood is like the in because that's what we've learned. It's really bad, you know. It just sets some expectations. And years later, I realized having a crush actually means getting crushed. <laughs> that's the process. You have to go through it, right? Like you have to go through remedial class. You have to go through tuitions. You have to go through bad teachers. running around getting not getting haircuts you know like this also is a part of it um i just want to know how many for how many of you did it work out in any way you dated for a week a day also is counted okay okay two two people no it didn't work out for anybody matlab we had a crush the other person didn't have a crush and that's it yeah, yeah, that's someone yeah that's that is counted yeah But you said you didn't have a crush in school. This is you're saying later. Uh, in eleventh. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. That's also another confusion, dude. Like, in you know, in Bombay people say junior college. Plus in Bangalore we say PUC. Yeah, we say PUC, which is pre-university college. In some other parts uh, they don't have college, so they do school, which is eleventh and twelfth. So it's very, it's all over the place. But okay, okay. So you're saying in eleventh you did. Okay. No one else has worked out. proper kya hota hai i i come from a girls school and girls college okay and uh, i have landed right in bombay in the girls so it's very very suddenly yeah just <laughs> yeah we are zavier is like that anyone else from zavier yes i mean zavier okay please talk to her <laughs> just have a conversation with each other it's just like look at the people were like me <laughs> okay so um, that's really, same thing happened you know So sixth standard, I saw this person. I had a crush. It was crazy. It went on for six years. That's a different story. I'll come into some other day. Went on for six years. Tenth, I finished. I went to a boys college again, which is worse than boys school. Like boys school is normal. Boys college is abnormal. 
Um, so, um, okay, so very few people it worked out, okay. Um, but you're saying you had a crush, like people, just... Yeah, just like, yeah, okay. how to put a crush, like... Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's it, what is crush, that's it. What is it? Can anyone give me a definition of crush? What is crush? It is just you having feelings, exaggerated feelings sometimes, because I feel like your brain just goes up, dude. It just, yeah. Is it just me or sometimes when you had a crush, you would think really beyond? Yes. Yeah? Okay, cool. I was not the only one, okay. I went to Goa, okay, in like 7th, 8th, 8th grade, I went to Goa with my family and this is the first time I've gone to Goa and this is the first time I've had a crush. We are in the middle of the sea looking for dolphins on a ship. Small, small boat, small boat, okay. All I could think of was, what if there was another boat? <laughs> yeah, what if she was on it? What if both of us were looking at dolphins, dude? Isn't it great, right? It was very stupid when I think of it later. Anywhere I went, anywhere I went, I'm like, I hope she just comes. We bump into each other. Middle of the ocean. I'm like, it's possible, dude. Love can do anything. And every time I would see her, sequences would run in my head, like song sequences. And I'm walking in slow motion. She has no idea who I am. So for her, life is normal. I am just walking in slow motion and like everything's like cool. And obviously it didn't end well for me, like at all. And that was the only crush I had because it also lasted for six years. I didn't get the time to like really look at anything else. But it's mad, dude. It's, it's yeah. I, uh, today's very few. There were some shows where I've done where a lot of people's crush did work out. Some people actually are still dating from school, which is a little absurd to think of it. I, I, I find it weird, okay? I would not date anyone that I met in school, in my school especially. <laughs> I've had, I've had, I mean, not boys' school, I'm saying the second COVID school. Like, I think we've seen each other so much that we should never see each other again. <laughs> we see each other too closely. Dude, honestly, if you think of it, your school friends know little weird things about you that I don't think even your partner would know because you've been around those people for that long. So, yeah, they are, um, yeah. And I think school, I mean, school friendships, out of all the things, one great thing that came out of school friendships. I think that, yes. I know I just said I won't meet them, I won't date them, but I'll hang out with them. Hanging out is good with friend, uh, friends from school. I don't know if I will date them. I, I don't know if you want to have common interests of our mad teacher or like school. Just weird, dude. I don't want to remember that time again in my life. Would, you, would any of you go back in time and re, like go through school all over again the same yeah. way it was? Yes. Okay, <laughs> okay, fine. I, is anyone like me who doesn't want to revisit school all over again? Okay, we are a few of us. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I thought in low at the age of drivers, people are too happy with what they have. So I'll tell you a small part of the crush thing not working out, then I'll call the next person. And it's really sad, guys, okay? Embrace yourself. <laughs> it's too sad. Um, so I had this crush, six, I'll go fast pace. Sixth grade, I had a crush. Okay, seventh, I had a crush. Eighth, I was like, I should talk to her because she doesn't know me. So I should talk to her. Eighth ke beech mein, one of my classmates comes and tells me that her class and our class, everyone knows about the crush, <laughs> including her. So this is the first time in third year, three years of me having a crush, first time she knows that I have a crush now. Right? And all that while, I wanted to meet her, say hi, you know, dolphins, say hi, talk to her. But then when it really came to talking, I was like, no. No, I'll say hi, she'll say hi, we're good. So, one day, we decided to have a conversation. I kept running away from it, but my friend was like, no, you can do it. We exit college, cross the road. There comes five people, five girls, specifically. She and four of her friends walk towards us. I didn't have the courage to talk to one person, especially her being my crush. Now she's coming with five other people, dude. So now we've crossed the road, we're walking to a certain distance. You know how they do this, right, friends? When we all are walking, the group will stop, and then one desired person will walk aage, because that's a sign for you to go, right? So now she's exited the group, and she's walked ahead. I am still with the group, <laughs> talking. And they're like, this is your cue to go and talk to her. So I go, very basic conversation, okay? Very basic. It was almost like, hi, and she's like, hi. How is school? Good. So what plans after this? 
the usual homework. You? Yeah, same. What plans tomorrow? School. <laughs> and I said bye, walked off, felt like that was the best conversation I have had in life. <laughs> okay? I was like, wow, dude, I took care of that so well. Years pass, ninth aata hai. we talk to each other, we are in touch. Tenth comes, tenth was when Facebook came. I graduated in 2010, that's when Facebook had launched in India. So we, you know, friend request each other and all of that. And then, but I needed like people with me because I didn't know how to text. I still don't know properly. But I didn't know how to text then. So I kept, a, like my people out go to tuitions with, would stand with me and tell me what to type, what to tell. Then eventually 10th came, 10th got over. She gave me her sister's number because she didn't have a phone. She's like, take my sister's number, we'll talk. I said, okay. She went on all girls college. I went on all boys college. Um, 11th May, there's a misunderstanding, okay? We'll do this whole, someday, I hope, I, with the same group, I can do this whole story full-fledged, but some misunderstanding happened. And then I spent my nights crying to Tu Janena. Because of course, <laughs> right? Right? Isn't that, any other breakup song that you want to recommend? Anyone? Anyone? No? No? No, abhi, 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 abhi. Anyone? Any favorites right now that we all can sit and cry to? No? No one? Channa mere, okay. Tum me ho. Tum me, okay. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Okay, okay. So we are. Sorry? Guzzle, okay. Dude, Guzzle will actually make me think. Guzzle will actually make me think, dude. I just want to cry. I just feel like I can't introspect. Because it's good to introspect, but I want to cry at that point. You know what? Another idea, I mean, I'm pushing away from the subject. We should have a crying open mic. Yeah. Hear me out, okay? You guys get your blanket, your comforters, your doll, your whatever you <laughs> brings you comfort, okay? We'll give you tissues, we'll give you a space to vent out. You can do group crying, you can do solo crying, but I think we should do it, okay? Someday, I think ranting we should do sessions. it. It's very, huh? Ranting sessions. We should do ranting sessions and then maybe a crying session. Or a crying session and then ranting session. Yeah? Crying will bring the rant out. Yeah. We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out, cool. I'll let you know. You just have to comment tears and <laughs> we'll let you into that open mic. Um, so then we stopped talking, cry to Zuzarana. Twelfth grade, we're not talking, okay? Twelfth grade, we joined the same tuitions. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so I came back as a sixth grade kid, came back in me. Because I was like, dude, I had a crush on this girl. Oh my God, it's so good. It came, right, it all happened. So uh, I'm trying to talk to her for the whole year of twelfth. It didn't happen. Eventually, because I'm a writer and I learned like writing my feelings out is the best way to express. I wrote her a whole book saying how I feel for the last six years. And I just wanted her to acknowledge it. I didn't want her to say, yes, I'll be your girlfriend. Yes, let's start dating. Nothing. I just want to, I told her, Ki, bhai, tu, pad I just want you to know what I'm feeling. She like, okay, uh, our exams are starting 12th grade. She like, teen din hai. Teen din baad, I will meet you and give you the book again. And I'll tell you what I feel because I can't keep the book at home because my parents are strict. I said, okay, cool. She took the book. Three days, I'm panicking, dude. Panicking. Three days later, I meet her. Uh, we meet in the same lane. And uh, she looks at me and I'm like, oh shit, I'm very scared. I don't know what she's going to say. It's been six years, man. This is my first ever crush. I'm like, you know, so many emotions. She just looks at me. And she's like, uh, actually didn't get the time to read it. <laughs> which is okay. Which is okay. The second line ruined it. She said, will you summarize it for me? That just broke, dude. That just broke me completely. And uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't have that. Um, I didn't have a, a self worth. So I was like, I'll sit and summarize. <laughs> My best friend had to be like, shut the fuck up, we're leaving right now. You're not going to be doing this. Which all okay, okay. And then years have passed. I forgot about it. I'm like, take care. We moved on, all of that. But the real closure, the sixth grader me real closure came last year. Why? Because um, I was sitting at home. 4th of June, scrolling on Instagram. 4th of June, okay? My birthday is on 13th June. You'll understand why I'm saying all this. 4th of June, I'm scrolling. It says, her, her post came, like my crush. She's not active on Instagram, but she was being active at that point because she was getting married, which is all cool, okay? But on 4th June, she said, nine days to go. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> That's when I got real closure because I was like, nope, not happening anymore. 
Because I, I counted, okay, because I'm bad at math. I was like, oh no, man, no, 13th of June, I don't want this memory to be something else. <sighs> so yeah, she's uh, happily married, good for her. I moved on, I'm, I'm, my, my sixth grade me has moved on from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll only cry after the show. Um, okay, uh, I'm trying to remember whose uh, name was it. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, cool. Sack Lab Song. Can you please have Shubham? Keep clapping, keep clapping when you come on stage. I feel like I'm going to go to the house. Because I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm तुम ना होते तो पहली बार तुम्हें देखते ही पहले प्यार वाला एहसास ना होता उदास सा रहने वाला मैं कभी खुश ना होता ये बेरंग सी जिंदगी कभी रंगीन ना बनती और मैं प्यार से कभी वाकिफ ही ना होता तुम ना होते तो हर रोज कॉलेज आना लाजमी ना होता कॉलेज में हर वक्त तुम्हें देखना और तुम्हें देखते ही यू झट से नजर चुराना शायद ना होता अगर तुम ना होते तो तुम ना होते तो शायद हमारी कभी दोस्ती ना बनती हर रोज तुमसे मिलने की वो एक्साइटमेंट ना होती तुम्हारी हर बात यू मन लगा कर ना सुनते और तुम्हारी हर हंसी पर ये दिल कुर्बान ना करते अगर तुम ना होते तो तुम ना होते तो शायद ये बारिश इतनी खूबसूरत ना होती इस दिल में तुम्हारी कोई मूरत ना होती तुम ना होते तो शायद ये बारिश इतनी खूबसूरत ना होती इस दिल में तुम्हारी कोई मूरत ना होती हर रोज उस चांद से मेरी कोई बात ना होती और तुम्हारी याद ना आए ऐसी कोई रात ना होती अगर तुम ना होते तो तुम ना होते तो चलते चलते मेरा ये हाथ तुम्हारे हाथों से ना टकराता तुम्हारे चेहरे पे आती जुल्फों को मैं प्यार से पीछे ना करता तुम्हारे पीठ पे बने टाटू पर हल्के से अपनी उंगलियां ना फिराता अगर तुम ना होते तो तुम ना होते तो हम कभी तुम्हारी गोद में सर रख कर ना सोते और ना तुम अपना हाथ मेरे सर पर रख कर मेरे, बा, मेरे बालों से खेलती ना हम कभी तुम्हारे होठों से होठ मिला पाते और ना कभी तुम्हारे सांसों की गरमाहट महसूस होती अगर तुम ना होते तो तुम ना होते तो ये सांसें किसी पे उधार ना होती इस दिल को धड़कने के लिए कोई वजह ना होती इन ओठों पे कोई नाम ना होता इस कंधे पे रोने वाला कोई शख्स ना होता अगर तुम ना होते तो पर तुम हो तुम हो मेरी उन हर बातों में अकेली और तन्हा कटती उन रातों में तुम हो मेरी उन हर बातों में अकेली और तन्हा कटती उन रातों में हर वक्त तुम्हें ढूंढती हुई उन आँखों में तुम्हारे हाथों को थामे हुए मेरे इस हाथ में लेकिन लेकिन तुम सिर्फ हो इन हाथों में ना उनकी लकीरों में थैंक यू सो मच नाउ आई कैन सेंस दैट यू गैस अब इन क्लैपिंग लॉर्ड कॉज इट यू कैन सी इट बट इट्स इट्स गोइंग वाइल्ड नो नो यू कैन इफ यू वांट टू गो आई एम जस्ट सेइंग डोंट डू इट बिकॉज़ आई एम सेइंग इफ यू फील लाइक डूइंग इट डू इट बट क� Three or four people. Uh, then we get to go home or get to go out. I'm assuming everyone has. Anyone else working from the new uh, people who came later? Anyone else working today? No? Okay, cool. Have a good day then. Ha ha, matlab chutti hai. Karo, maza karo. Cool. I'll call the next person. We have three, four more people. Just keep the energy going. Some more time. We get to go. Yeah? <laughs> then we have Haley Shah. Keep laughing, keep laughing as you come to show. Hi, hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Are there a lot of college people in the audience today? Yes. That's, yes. That's very cool. College is an exciting time, I feel. Because, you know, you're this, uh, like, this new legal adult with, like, all these new opinions and, you know, belief systems. Uh, and I hate to break this to you because I graduated some time ago. 
that you know which time you realize that uh, growing up is a scam i think you might have already you guys seem like a smart crowd but also that you know so many of our belief systems are just lies like how else do you cope with the mess that is your life how else do you like cope with just you know some dreams that you may not be able to realize you have to lie to yourself a little bit right so there are a lot of lies that we tell ourselves and this piece is about a few such lies that i told myself so this piece is called the lies we tell ourselves there are lies we tell ourselves often i think it is a survival instinct i definitely turned off the light when i left the house if i don't get this right everyone will hate me my mother did not mean what she said about my weight when i was 13 lying is a scaffolding that holds us until we can repair the damage of reality it started building when i was younger when it was harder to separate stories from lies when the whole universe when my entire universe fit between my two eyes i moved into loving and lying like it was a home i could recognize its rooms and access before i could even spell the address of course my mother loves me that is why she wants me to be healthy if i don't get this right this failure will define me these lies they expand and evolve like language like the universe my entire childhood the sun rose in the east and then one day it just stopped they lived happily ever after until i found out it wasn't for love it was for the children god watches over the children but he doesn't always listen there are lies we tell ourselves so often they begin to sound like prayers that are meant to protect us now that i am older and less religious i lose count my mother loved me the best way she could if i don't get this right i can just give up when you lie to yourself enough it does not repair it replaces the truth the temporary structure you built takes over This morning I looked at myself in the mirror and said I will get through this day without thinking about him but I was already thinking about him. I said I am not getting fat just because I skipped my workout for a week. You know, the usual set of lies you tell yourself when no one else is in the room. When the one you love walks in and out of the room of your life like your life is an elevator. and he got off before you had the chance to build something stronger do you whisper unlovable whisper unworthy incomplete when no one else is in the room we lie to love love to lie lie to unlove my love to tell you the truth is the hardest thing but to tell myself the truth is harder still so yes God is watching. My parents live happily ever after. If I don't get this right, my mother will still call me. I don't love him any more, and I sure as hell turned off the light. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. man the amount of light in school oh i think it is all white lies in school cuz you are just trying to protect your parents from knowing what a child they have just a simpler way to do it but um, thank you thank you so much for highlighting that i think it was a great um, image um field trips field trips anyone yeah yeah pretty guys a lot of fancy you i think you tum logo kahan leke gaye i want to i really want to know Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we had it. We had a regular thing every year between Jan and Feb. So funny thing, my birthday is on third Feb. So every year I celebrate my birthday on a field trip. And What is Jan and Feb? But like you have windows so, for. Yeah. So it was. It was AU tour. We used to call it. So twenty sixth, twenty eighth Jan go all the way to fourth or fifth Feb. We used to have a ten day long trip every year. From like sixth grade to tenth grade, the entire sixth to tenth was away for those ten days. Where would you at go? At different different places. So. Okay. So. 
sixth and seventh period goes on, we went to like Jaipur or Jaipur and all that, and then they started taking us to like uh, places we've never been, like internals. So like we've got, we've gone to like the we saw internal villages of Assam. We went to uh, like Masuri and all of that, and then in the ninth they started taking us to like somewhere. I was talking about field trip for one day, but it's like a trip. You also had something like that? I'm assuming both of your schools are very similar in its own way. I think town schools are similar. Which school? VTS. Oh, VTS, of course. Okay. Cool. So, uh, yeah, where did you guys also go and went on a trip? Or, uh, we used to, but I think girls' trip for 10 days is not a good thing. You can't handle so many hormonal girls together. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. 50 okay. girls together, it's not a good thing. Okay. So you guys had one day field trip. But you're saying you did take trips that was young, like primary school. You said there were, you guys would take trips. Yeah, yeah. We had one day trips as well as 10 day trips. 10 days were optional. Okay, okay, okay. The one day had to come. Okay. For you, this 10 day also was optional or everyone? No, it was compulsory. So oh. Like six, unless you got like medical reasons and stuff. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. 10 yeah. times just one field trip because I was unwell. But other than that, uh, you had to be there because the entire school was shut for those 10 days. Like the 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, everyone's gone. And yeah, yeah, yeah. 12 have gone actually. So, what okay. do you sit in? Wow, okay. Everyone else did the same thing? Ek din resort jao, We had a four day uh, trip to Hyderabad when I was in fifth year. I see. No, that we used to have trips, but then after my fifth standard, it stopped. But then okay. That was the year that we visited. Okay. We okay. had these weird rules for one day trips. Like we went to SL World. Of I think convent school. <laughs> yeah, we went to Tiku Chiriwadi with school once and they said if you all are going to be like swimming and everything just make sure that you all don't get fully wet and like just keep your like legs inside. That still makes sense. But you yeah. can't go to an adventure park or water park and be like don't get your hair wet. Tiku Chiriwadi is a water park. No, that's what I'm saying. But I know fully wet but they're still giving you a human behavior of like, you a human option of like so don't get completely wet. Get wet. This is like bal. It's very, it's very specific. Don't keep bal giving you on a chair. That's. Or if there was, there was. I still remember that there was this one girl who went. Who just saw ride. Hota hai. Just ke andar pani uchhal ke aaya and she got her bed, a hair bed. Shit. Did they call her to the auditorium? No. <laughs> 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 like, you. <laughs> you should leave. <laughs> Your hair is wet. <laughs> You're suspended. <laughs> okay. Here is a trying thing. to get it dry yeah. and I assume this is what drying is, yeah. <laughs> That's how smart girls were. Oh man, but uh, yeah, very, f I, I still can't. Both of your schools are very fascinating. My first school was convent, rich, good, would take us to nice resorts. Second school had its own uh, farmhouse, resort farmhouse, <laughs> which had one ground, which depends on which set of kids occupy it, becomes either football or cricket. Okay, yeah. depends. You have stumps, you have to cricket, you have to go football. And that also depends on the bus driver, which whose bus reaches first. There's no designated thing. The rest of the people, they were hardly, there were like two trees, they put like a thing in between, they like walk on this. Like this, this basic thing. So every year they would do this for every batch. Summer camp would happen there. Which also was nothing. Summer camp was like barely anything in our school. But yeah, it was really bad, dude. They would not take us to any fans. Like, the first school was nice. They would take us to very nice, like, places. We would have fun one day, do something. It felt like you're doing something. Second was just like, because my school also had, second school had different uh, buildings in different parts of the city. It literally felt like you're going from one building to another building. That's all. It was, it was really bad, bad. But this is exciting, dude. Hyderabad were like, just going out and going to, we never got taken to, at all, I don't remember going to an adventure park, at all, by the school. I went after my 10th got over, because, you know, life is great. You have to do something after 10 gets over. How's 10th for you guys? Did anyone get, any, did anyone get crazy marks, like crazy? Yeah. 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 Well, 12th? 12th yeah, also is good, I mean, you know, 90th and 12th is mad. And in school, I'm saying 10th. 10th, anyone? 91. 97. Let's see, 97? 97. 97. Who's the highest? Anyone else? 97? What was 97? About 97? 98. 98? Okay, 98. 98, 98, 98. Anyone? Anyone above 98? No, no, no. 
<laughs> above 98. 98 is max? Yeah. Okay. What, what uh, syllabus was this? Uh, state board, like oh. Maharashtra board. State board, okay, okay. That's mad, dude. 97, 98 is crazy. I did CBC and I got like 75 and I was really happy. <laughs> My best friend was like, like was one of you. So he got 92 or 93 and he broke a chair. <laughs> because I was so excited. I got 92 and I chair. Huh? No, 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 That's too much. I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm sure. The school only ruins it, dude. Makes it so competitive. But no, no, he got really happy and he broke a chair. I was more happier than him, but because I was like, I passed. Because I got 75, I passed, I'm good. Uh, my parents didn't expect that, so they got surprised. Cool. We call the next person, come back, do this, okay? A few more people. Three more people. Can we please have Satya? He's coming all the way from the last row, guys. Keep laughing, keep laughing, keep laughing, keep laughing. सत्य प्रकाश गुप्ता है और सबसे पहले तो मैं थोड़ा सा माफी दर्ज करना चाहूँगा अपना माफी नाम दर्ज करना चाहूँगा थोड़ा सा लेट था बट मैं और मेरे सब फ्रेंड्स जो हैं लाइव देखते आ रहे थे यू यू आर जस्ट रशिंग इनटू कि पेरेंट्स टीचर मीट नहीं मिस करना है हमको बिकॉज़ कैंटीन वाला भी हम लोग मिस कर गए थे सो so, या और सबसे पहला बात तो मैं ये कहना चाहूँगा कि बेहद खुश हूँ मैं इस बात को आज साझा करते हुए कि इस मंच पर आए हर एक शख्स को हर एक कलाकार को हर एक कहानीकार को जिस तलीनता के साथ सुना गया है ये अपने आप में एक काबिल तारीफ है और हाँ बिल्कुल और इस बात का सबूत भी है कि 700 साल पहले दिल्ली सल्तनत में आमिर खुसरो की शक्ल में जो नज़म ज़ुबा गज़ल ज़ुबा पनपी थी वो आज भी बम्बई की नई नस्लों ने अपने रगों में बहुत लहू लुहान करके ज़िंदा रखा हुआ है तो ये बहुत बड़ी बात है और साथ ही मैं एक चीज़ और कहूँगा कि इसमें बहुत बड़ा योगदान मैं समझता हूँ कि श्रोतागण कर रहा है जिन्होंने ये इनायत दी हर उस शख्स को हर उस कहानीकार को कि इस मंच पर आए और अपनी बात को कह सके साझा करा सके तो इसके लिए मैं तहे दिल से शुक्रिया अदा कर दूँगा सबसे पहले तो आपका और आज मैं एक गज़ल तरन्नुम में तो नहीं है बट गज़ल मैं आज आपके सामने पेशे खिदमत रखूँगा इसका शीर्षक मैंने दिया नहीं है तो बेनाम ही समझ लीजिए तो ये पहला वाला जो पार्ट था ये काम की बातें थी अब थी अब जो मैं करूँगा वो है बेनाम की बातें तो सुनिएगा मतलब रखता हूँ पेश करता हूँ जितनी खूबसूरती से आप सुन रहे हैं उसी खूबसूरती के साथ सुनेगा शेर सुनेगा कि है जो मकसद में है जो मकसद में सीखने और सिखाने वाला कि है जो मकसद में सीखने और सिखाने वाला गैरों के बस्ती में अपना बन जाने वाला मुफलसी के दौर में गरीबी कि मुफलसी के दौर में चराग जलाने वाला क्या तुम हो वो शख्स हाथ बढ़ाने वाला बहुत शुक्रिया और अगला शेर सुनिएगा कि भले आप मेरा नाम बेनाम याद रख कर जाएँ या ना जाएँ पर मैं चाहता हूँ कि ये जो अगली शेर है ये आप अपने साथ अपने घर लेकर जाएँ सुनिएगा सत्य प्रकाश गुप्ता ये शेर सुना रहा है कि नदियों की शोर में समंदर में गोते लगाने वाला कि नदियों की शोर में समंदर में गोते लगाने वाला है कोई शहर में मुझे बचाने वाला और अगली पंक्ति सुनिएगा ख़ास तौर पर कि राखसी मिल्कियत मिल्कियत यानी पोजिशन अधिकार के राखसी मिल्कियत कैसी राखसी मिल्कियत पड़ी थी जिंदगी वो मिला मुझे आईने में अजम के धुएं सा उड़ाने वाला गैरों के बस्ती में अपना बन जाने वाला मतलब पेश करता हूँ आखिरी शेर मकता पेश करता हूँ और उसके पहले एक बात याद आता है कि उन्नीस सौ के दौर में हम दोनों एक फिल्म आई थी जिसका एक बहुत ही मशहूर गीत है आ, मैं जिंदगी का साथ निभाता चला गया साहिल उद्यानवी साहब के कलम से रचित है ये इसका दो पंक्तियाँ जो बेहद करीब है मेरे वो पंक्तियाँ कुछ यूँ हैं कि बर्बादियों का शोक मनाना फिजूल था बर्बादियों का जश्न मनाता चला गया मैं जिंदगी का साथ निभाता चला गया इस ख्याल को मैंने चुराया है और अपने अंदाज में रचने की गणना की है सुनिएगा मकता पेश करता हूँ कि जश्न मनाया बर्बादियों का यूँ इस कदर कि जश्न बनाया बर्बादियों का यूं इस कदर 
मैं वो बन गया मुख्तसर दिखाने वाला गैर हूँ कि बस्ती में अपना बन जाने वाला हाथ बढ़ाने वाला डूबते को बचाने वाला है एक मकसद में सीखने और सिखाने वाला बहुत शुक्रिया एक गज़ल की आखिरी पंक्तियाँ मैं नज़र करूँगा निदा फाजली साहब का बहुत बड़ा योगदान रहा है बहुत इम्पैक्ट रहा है जिस लहजे से वो शेर पढ़े हैं उस उस लहजे से मैं काफ़ी फैसिनेटेड रहा हूँ तो उनके लहजे में मैं एक अपने गज़ल की आखिरी पंक्तियाँ आपको पेश खिदमत रखता हूँ सुनेगा और भी थे जीने के तरीके मगर कि और भी थे जीने के तरीके मगर कुछ उसूलों के जिम्मेदारियों के बोझ में जीता रहा जीता रहा प्याले में सपनों के जाम तैरते रहे जिंदगी भर खास तौर पे कि प्याले में सपनों के जाम तैरते रहे जिंदगी भर मैं घूट दर घूट उन्हें पीता रहा पीता रहा और भी थे जीने के हवाले मगर मैं यूं ही जीता रहा जीता रहा बहुत शुक्रिया Thank you so much you've been a fantastic audience this was my time and so the prize is for you Thank you guys thank you thank you thank you so much um to more people okay uh, you know what to do Can you please have bandana Yeah yeah I, I keep clapping keep clapping keep clapping या हेलो एवरीवन ये हैबिटेट के मंच पे मेरा दूसरा परफॉर्मेंस है सबसे पहले मैं बताना चाहती हूँ कि जो पोइट्री मैं आपको सुनाने वाली हूँ उसके पीछे का थॉट प्रोसेस क्या है सो बी द चेंज यू वांट टू सी इन द वर्ल्ड ये लाइन मेरी बहुत फेवरेट है और स्कूल कॉलेज की बात हो रही है तो उस पर मैं बोलूँगी कि जब मैं स्कूल में थी और कॉलेज में थी तो वाइल्ड ग्रोइंग अप आई रियलाइज़ दैट फ्यू थिंग्स आर नॉट वेरी गुड अराउंड मी इन माय सराउंडिंग इन माय सोसाइटी सो आई प्रॉमिस्ड माय सेल्फ देन व्हेन आई विल ग्रो अप आई विल बी ऑन माई ओन मैं अपने पैरों पर खड़े होकर उन मुद्दों पर उन इशूज़ पर ज़रूर काम करूँगी जो मुझे लगता है चेंज होनी चाहिए बट जब आप बड़े होते हो पढ़ाई कंप्लीट करते हो नौ से पाँच की नौकरी लग जाती है और ज़िंदगी कुछ तरह कुछ इस उन चीज़ों में उलझ जाती है जो शायद इम्पॉर्टेंट नहीं होती है बट आपको एक एक ऐसे चक्रव्यूह में आप फंस जाते हो जहाँ पे आप जिंदगी दुनिया में जो भी चल रहा है उसके हिसाब से अपने आप को सूट कर सूटेबल बनाना होता है तो इन सब के बीच जब कभी आप सोचने लगते हो तो ये ख्याल आता है कि यू हैव नॉट ट्राइड हार्ड इनफ टू टैकल द रियल इश्यूज अराउंड यू और इन योर लाइफ सो वहाँ से एक कविता आती है शीर्षक है मुखौटा मैं जैसी हूँ मैं जैसी हूँ वैसे जी नहीं सकती मैं जैसी हूँ वैसे जी नहीं सकती एक मुखौटे की ज़रूरत मुझे हर मोड़ पर होती है मुखौटे कई प्रकार के होते हैं मुखौटे कई प्रकार के होते हैं जीविका के लिए संघर्ष का मुखौटा रिश्तों के लिए सहनशीलता का मुख मुखौटा सौहार्द के लिए हंसने का मुखौटा जीने के लिए मुझे जीने के लिए मुझे सच से दूर होना होता है जीने के लिए मुझे सच से दूर होना होता है और परछाई भी ना छूले ऐसे तेज़ दौड़ना होता है इन सब के बीच और इन सब के बीच जब कभी मन सोचने लगता है मुखौटा हर प्रकार से मुखौटा हर प्रकार से उस सोच को दबाता है जी जीविसा जब थकती है जीने की इच्छा जी जीविसा जब थकती है नैराश्य का बोध होता है और जीने की ऐसी मजबूरियों पर क्रोध होता है देखती हूँ देखती हूँ मैं जब भीड़ को सबके मुखौटे दिखाई देते हैं अपने अपने सच छुपाते अपने अपने सच छुपाते सब नाटक में लीन है फिर एक और सच कुरेता है फिर एक और सच कुरेता है कि क्या मैं भी क्या मैं भी बस एक नाटक का पात्र हूँ क्या मैं भी एक सिर्फ एक नाटक का पात्र हूँ जब ये सच हावी होता है अकेलापन अपना लगता है और सच की दस्तक से सच की दस्तक से अपना सन्नाटा सुनाई देता है सच की दस्तक से अपना सन्नाटा सुनाई देता है मेरा सच मेरा सच जैसा भी है मेरे अस्तित्व का हिस्सा है मेरा सच जैसा भी है मेरे अस्तित्व का हिस्सा है और इन तमाम झूठे मुखौटों में मेरा सच ही मेरा सच्चा है मेरा सच ही मेरा सच्चा है 
और एक और ये जो हमें नज़रअंदाज करके जीने की आदत हो जाती है हम उन चीज़ों को का बर्डन नहीं लेते हैं जो हमें कन्वीनियंट नहीं लगती है उसी लाइफ स्टाइल जो हो जाती है उसके ऊपर एक छोटी सी पोइट्री है या यूँ कर लीजिए कटाक्ष है शीर्षक है विडम्बना घर के अंदर घर के अंदर शीस महल है घर के अंदर शीस महल है बाहर सांस लेने को शुद्ध हवा नहीं है कुत्ते घूमते हैं एयर कंडीशन कारों में आदमी को सड़क पर जगह नहीं है हम पैमानों में खुशियां ढूंढते हैं हम पैमानों में खुशियां ढूंढते हैं अंदर झांकने को कुछ बचा नहीं है और बेच आए बेच आए कौड़ियों में संस्कारों को धन की लंका से कुछ बड़ा नहीं है जब तक हम सुरक्षित हैं जब तक हम सुरक्षित हैं कुछ बुरा नहीं जब तक हम सुरक्षित हैं कुछ बुरा नहीं दूसरे का दुख लेने की कोई वजह नहीं है और कुरेदे विचार कुरेदे विचार तो बस झटक दो उन्हें इन बातों में कुछ रखा नहीं थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच यू द लास्ट परफॉर्मर बिफोर दैट एज वॉन्ट वॉज स्मॉल क्विक थिंग ओके सो हम गुना आस्क यू वन बाय वन Tell me your childhood best friend's name, okay? Whoever in school at any point of time that you are really grateful for. I'm sure there's always one person who has a lot to do with who you are, where you are today. So uh, quickly, I'm going to go around, okay? One person's name, whoever uh, that you can think of at the top of your head. Meghna Varadkar. Okay. Kautam Pore. Nisha Hirembad. Raiva Tambadkar. Riya Narke. Shruti. थोड़ा जोर से बोल दो सबको सुनाई देना चाहिए. ओके No. No. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Uh, can you please have an applause for that? <laughs> for me, it was Kushal Sachdev. Uh, if that guy wasn't in my life in my first school, he was only my first school. But if he wasn't there, I really life would have been somewhere else. I'm very grateful for him. Um, but we have the last performer. Before calling that, I just want to say that I'm sure everyone went through. a weird kind of a patch in school not studies not teachers not anything just figure out yourself right i think it is a weird as part was to figure out yourself math seemed easier in front of figure out yourself even though i still can't stand math um so all i want to say is uh thank you to the younger you that never gave up that thought that should pursue and uh, make friends and uh, step out in comfort um, sorry uncomfortable zones and try doing something new uh, and honestly making it till your in life because if that kid back then didn't uh, give up you wouldn't be here i feel so there's a lot to do with crediting people over there and also yourself for actually making it through so much shit that we discuss so casually things were like freaky back then um and it's fun to like discuss it now but obviously you can't see things then but i just want to say thank you to all of you including my younger self for being able to um, do this life of justice in a way and trying to keep pushing and helping your own self grow and be where you are so thank you so much <laughs> chalo yaar last person go mad okay go wild just keep keep climbing the person go mad can we please have stage पहले आप सबको एक समर्पित लाइन इश्क में बर्बाद भी है बदनाम भी है इश्क में बर्बाद भी है बदनाम भी है अरे कृष्ण थोड़ी इंसान ही है वो मेरी कुछ कुछ हरकतों से ऐसे तो बहुत परेशान होती है वो मेरी कुछ कुछ हरकतों से ऐसे तो बहुत परेशान होती है मगर कितना भी झगड़ ले दिन भर 
बाहों से लिपट कर ही सोती है जब रात होती है क्या बात है जी क्या बात और इस पंक्ति में आप सबका प्यार चाहूंगा कि वो मेरी कुछ कुछ हरकतों से ऐसे तो बहुत परेशान होती है कितना भी झगड़ ले दिन भर बाहों से लिपट कर ही सोती है जब रात होती है और वैसे तो दिखाने को बहुत से ड्रेस उसके पास होते हैं और वैसे तो दिखाने को बहुत से ड्रेस उसके पास होते हैं मगर वो फिर भी कुछ नहीं पहनती जब हम साथ होते हैं और उसका बदन किसी आसमान से कम नहीं उसका बदन किसी आसमान से कम नहीं आसमान में तारे जितने उसके बदन पे तिल उतने हैं उसका बदन किसी आसमान से कम नहीं आसमान में तारे जितने उसके बदन पे तिल उतने हैं किसी को मालूम है क्या आसमान में तारे कितने मुझे मालूम है उसके बदन पे तिल कितने हैं कि इश्क में इश्क में इस बार कुछ अलग करके दिखाते हैं इश्क में इस बार कुछ अलग करके दिखाते हैं जहर तुम भी मंगा लो जहर हम भी मंगाते हैं और समझदारी इसमें नहीं कि खुद को मिटा ले इश्क में इस बार कुछ अलग करके दिखाते हैं जहर तुम भी मंगा लो जहर हम भी मंगाते हैं और समझदारी इसमें नहीं कि खुद को मिटा ले जहर थोड़ा तुम अपने घर वालों को पिला देना थोड़ा हम अपने घर वालों को पिलाते हैं इश्क में इस बार कुछ अलग करके दिखाते हैं और ये प्रेम की कविता है कविता का शीर्षक है एक बात है तुमसे कहने को इसको आप लोग भी पकड़ लीजिएगा जब मैं कहूँ एक बात तो आप भी साथ दीजिएगा कि एक बात है तुमसे कहने को तो तुम्हें जब से मैंने देखा है एक बात है तुमसे कहने को तुम्हें जब से मैंने जाना है एक बात है तुमसे कहने को तुम्हें जब से अपना माना है एक बात है तुमसे कहने को बस तब से तुमसे कहना है एक बात है तुमसे कहने को एक बात है तुमसे कहने को कि मेरा बहुत मन करता है तुम्हारे साथ रातों को जगने को तुम्हारे चेहरे को तकने को तुम्हारे दिल में बसने को बस तेरा होकर रहने को मगर बस हिम्मत नहीं है कहने को इसलिए छोड़ो इन बातों को यहीं रहने दो हाँ मगर एक बात है तुमसे कहने को काश कि तू मेरी निशा और मैं तेरा प्रेम बनूँ काश कि तू मेरी सिमरन और मैं तेरा राज बनूँ बस एक चांस चाहता हूँ तेरी फिल्मों का हीरो बनने को मगर ये हिम्मत नहीं है कहने को इसलिए छोड़ो इन बातों को यहीं रहने दो जब जब तुमसे झगड़े हम एक बात है तुमसे कहने को जब जब तुमसे झगड़े हम एक बात है तुमसे कहने को दिल दुखता है मेरा भी ये बात है तुमसे कहने को मेरे सपनों में तुम आती थी तोड़ दिया ना सपने को मैं सोता नहीं हूँ आज भी ये बात है तुमसे कहने को एक बात थी तुमसे कहने को कि मेरा बहुत मन करता है तुमसे झूठा मूठा लड़ने को अपनी सारी बातें कह के तुमसे तेरी बातें सुनने को और तेरी हंसी का कारण बनने को तेरे माथे को ले चुमने को मगर ये हिम्मत नहीं है कहने को इसलिए छोड़ो इन बातों को यहीं रहने दो हाँ इस वीडियो को देखने के बाद अगर तुम्हें भी कुछ कहना हो तो तो रहने देना बातों को बस बहने देना जज्बातों को और कहने देना आँखों को जो बात है तुम उससे कहने को मगर तब तक के लिए दोस्तों मेरे दिल की बात मेरे दिल में ही रहने दो हाँ मगर एक बात है तुमसे कहने को thank you thank you thank you so much uh, this is really really fun uh, firstly can we have an applause for all the people who came to come then for all the audience members the whole team working today yeah um again basics we are live you can take the video he already he's already going to put the video he already said <laughs> so you can take the video off it uh, please credit the team photos you will get in a in a week maximum 4 5 days ya to ek hafte ke andar pakka sabka photo liya hua you will get that you open mics i told you like twice already uh, if you want to know more about tonight show or creative block uh, after the show we'll talk uh, you guys have been absolutely amazing people we hope i hope we cross paths again we meet again in some other event some other time uh, keep doing what you're doing it really matters i hope to see you guys soon thank you so much bye bye